Be real. Leave it in the comments. You know my beat is hard. My beat is hard. I want to thank y'all to another episode, watching another episode of Pierre's Panic Room. And I got to say Pierre's Panic Room because sometimes y'all see me on the street and just be like, yo, I see you on the Panic Room. I like the Panic Room. I love the fact y'all like it, but it's Pierre's Panic Room, man. It's my shit, man. Come on, y'all. All right? It's Pierre's Panic Room. All right, y'all. We got a fly show today, man. I'm excited about this guest, man. But before we get into it, you know what I got to do? I got to read y'all comments. You know, the comments y'all wrote. The comments my assistant pick up, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't even read these before, I, as you can tell sometimes how bad I read, uh, I don't even read these up front, but this is what they're giving me, so let's see what they go. This is from the Teddy Carpenter episode, y'all remember the Teddy Carpenter episode, y'all remember the Teddy Carpenter episode, alright, Fleetwood Joan writes, y'all tripping, get my guy Pierre 100,000 subscribers, what y'all waiting on, let's get it, that's right, can we get to 100,000 man, look what number we on right now, look what we on, look at look, 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 look the subscribers, did we bust that honey? Did we bust that honey? Uh oh. I like busting that honey, okay? All right. <laughs> From the Jackie Long episode, Champ T writes, Pierre talks like a sassy 90s woman. Okay. <laughs> really, motherfucker? Really? A sassy? That's, that's what we're doing here now? Y'all ain't shit, man. Really? Out of all the things y'all can find, y'all find this one. Damn you, Champ T, okay? Champ T. Renaissance Ratchet writes, this is from the Phase on Love episode. You should have Faison on your show again. The conversation was stimulating. Thank you. Well, actually, I'll holler at my boy uh, Faison. He's going to come back, y'all. I promise. He told me he'll come back. He wants to do the show again, so he's going to do it again. So uh, you get your wish, uh, Renaissance Ratchet. All right? All right, y'all. I'm excited about this next guest, man. I've followed him for a long time, man. Really, I really have. He's one of the up-and-coming dudes. You know, he's been around, but not really been around. But every time he puts it down, he puts it down. You see him on social media. You might see him on his live shows. The boy is fantastic, man. Give it up. I'm excited about having him. Give it up for the one and only Mr. D. Lehe! Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Look at the outfit. I just want to. I want to have some clothes on that pop for the show. They popping, brother. They popping. Good lord. Yes. Out here looking like Bruce Lee from Game of Death. Yeah, man. Yeah. I feel good, man. I like you said. I watch. I'm a fan of the show. You really watch I'm the show? I'm a fan of the show. Yeah, they got the stuff in the drink. Okay, good. Got, yeah, 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 yeah. They got yeah. everything I need in the cup. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan of the show, man. Okay. I watch the show. Okay. And, okay. Uh, I love, I love your um, your journalistic skills. That Thank you, you very much. Here. Is that what we're doing? Okay, on, okay. On the platform, absolutely. I, I, I ain't get put my boots on, you know, but I, I should wear some boots for all that mm. shit you talking and shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get my boots ready and shit. We got a lot to talk about. Yes, 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 yes. Come on now. So. First of all, thank you for coming, man, for real, bro. Yes. For real, real. I followed you. I've seen you on a lot of uh, social media situations, and you're always hilarious. You know, you're in the pocket, brother. You're one of the kind of people I feel like you're on the cusp of something about to happen. Something about to pop. Something. You know what I'm saying? It's something about to pop, right. okay? You know right. what I'm saying? You like that pimple. Everybody look at it. You need to hit that get right that. there. Yeah, you need to get, get that, that right there. You, you need to get, get that, that right there, okay? Yeah. I like never okay. describe myself as a pimple, but yeah. I like that. Well, there it is. You, yeah. know, you know, you're full of juice and stuff. Gotcha. You know what I'm that, that good, it is. Good, right good. Explode onto the world. I like it. Onto the mirror or something like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? All right. So, look, for those who don't know, some of y'all don't know who this brother is. I'm a, we're going we're gonna to do a little journey, go back with his life and talk about some of the things. Yeah. And I like featuring young cats who I think got a. You know that, uh, like I said, on the cusp of something happening. So let's do a little bit back. You are from Louisiana, Alexandria, yeah, to be exact. Right, right, right. Is there right a difference between like uh, uh, New Orleans and uh, 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 Slidell? Absolutely. And ba Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, yeah. Uh, Alexandria is like considered Central Louisiana. Okay. It's directly in the middle, and it's very country. It's it's right, it's, right, 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 right. It's right. down home people. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So New Orleans is more of a city, like. Okay. You know, so y'all eat hog crackling. Hog mogs, hog crackers, oh, okay. chitlins, pee -pee. Boudin, 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 yeah, boudin, 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 um, um, uh, pig lips, pig lips, yeah, the lips and the, the, the feet. male or the female lips. It don't matter. It don't Hell matter. Hell no. It don't, yeah, it don't matter. Just chop them, chop it off. <laughs> really, really. I'm working on my language too. Right, right, right. I don't it's know if you see me catch me. Right, I'm right. working on because my dream, one of my dreams, is to work at the Potter's house. It really, in yeah, Texas. and just and just take up an offering at the end. I want it. I want it back. I want it back. Check this out. Okay, so you said um. Uh, uh, Alexander, I went down to some shows one time in Louisiana, a couple times, and I saw them shotgun houses. I don't know if y'all know a shotgun house. You open the front door and you can look all the way, way through to the back door. Yeah. 
And sometimes they're on like little stilts or little rocks or whatever you call it. Little steps, steps. that walk up to the house. Hey, I, I lived in one of those. No, you did. You might 3604 9th Street. Yes. That's Alexandria, Louisiana. That's the house on the prairie, man. It's right next to that. That's okay. not that one, my but it's bad. the one right next to it. My bad. Okay. We didn't, yeah, we're just <laughs> right next to it. Absolutely. Yeah, it's Damn. country, man. Shotgun houses. I grew up in that with like seven or eight people in it. Come on now. Yeah, you open up the door. You got steps that you go up to. Right. And yeah, under we had, the house sits up about this high, so it never floods and touches right, the right, house. Right, right, right. And the dog had to stay up under the house. And six or seven people in the house. Oh, that, at least. That's some old Charlie and the Chocolate Factory type shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Willy Wonka was, type shit, you know? Yeah, what I mean? man, it was different, man. I came from my my background, man. If you looked it up, mm-hmm. it's it's very interesting. If you mm-hmm. if you look into it deeply, mm-hmm. like the way I grew up. Uh, I say six or seven, but my grandmother was always taking people in, so it could be ten or twelve people in the house. So hold on, was your parents around? What no, was there? no, no. My no. mom was killed when I was nine months old, really? and then oh, my damn, grandmother took you? over. Yeah, so my grandmother took over, and you know she was doing her thing for a while, and then she passed. So I was experiencing a lot of death. How were you when, when she passed? Twelve years old. Where was your father? At? Uh, he was around. Oh, did you? Not around me. I just, Hell no. He, Hell he, no. Was he, was he was around. Yeah, he was around. Wow, wow. So you could you call your grandmother raised you until you was 12. Now, I heard that when you were young, all the energy you, you have, mm-hmm. I actually heard you were shy mm. and you didn't even smile because your grill was fucked up. Yeah, man. <laughs> was that what it was? I didn't, um, like, a gap in the mouth. <laughs> right, like, right, right, right. That was, that, that wasn't welcomed. Like, people wouldn't okay. be like, hey, that's, that's, it little wasn't. Gappy, right, right. Uh-huh. There's all kind of little tags for you. Man. What's up, Gappy D? Hell no. Yeah, Gappy D. Gappy D? Yeah. That's yeah. Up, um, we can be cruel to each other as kids. Yeah, man. But I was very shy because, you know, the upbringing that I, that I came from, like, nobody's, I didn't come from a communicative type environment, so I kept to myself. You know now, what I mean? Even all the, because you had like, cause you say you had a house full of kids, yeah. people right there. Is that what made you shun away, be quiet? I mean, yeah, you man, it's, it's loud in there, man. It's seven, okay. eight, nine people in there. It's loud. People smoking crack. Is yeah, yeah, Damn. man. I had an aunt that smoked crack. Uh, uh, uncle that drank right. like excessively. Right. And I'm seeing all these different things, and it's just an environment just definitely not conducive for a kid. Right. Right. And I'm just in there, just being quiet, and I'm observing. You know what I mean? Right, but the sure. whole time, I'm like, I'm getting out of this. I can't. There's no way I'm going to stay in this. I got to get out of this. And at a young age, you could, you knew that. You knew to get out of that. At a young five. Age. Damn. Shit, no. At five, I was ready to get out. <laughs> Hell not five. I was paying bills at nine. Yeah. Come on, man. Come, man, come on. Let me, let me I had to pay the light bill. You're on some bullshit. No, I had to pay the light bill. At nine, I had to pay the light bill. And how'd you make money to make crack? Were you selling crack? Young? No, I wasn't selling crack. Oh, I would okay. pick cans. I would pick cans, and we live oh. in Louisiana, so pecan season was big. I would pick those. Like, anything to hustle. Oh. Anything to hustle. Yeah. And then one I was, time, one time I, I, I was in a lineup. I picked cans. I picked Mexicans out. I picked oh, Puerto Ricans. Oh, you know this is, dude, <laughs> where's this? Where's, where's this going to end? Where is Telemundo? Ain't gonna hell. This Telemundo. guy, Telemundo. Okay, <laughs> Telemundo. Oh, okay. It won't be on Telemundo. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> no, man. But oh, wow, wow. Okay, okay. So, um, what, let me tell you, uh, kid. What were you watching? Okay, I always like to ask comedians, what kind of shows were you watching as a young kid? Like, Whatever my yeah. grandmother watched. So Gunsmoke and Bonanza. I'm watching, watching little Gunsmoke, <laughs> a will, heavy on the Wheel of Fortune. Hey, oh, okay, okay. Heavy on the right, Wheel of right, Fortune. Right, right, okay. Um, I don't know why my grandmother would watch it, because she hated it. Uh, I would watch Johnny Carson. She'd just sit there and just, just curse Johnny Carson out the whole what? night. Yeah, sorry, son of a bitch. He ain't never said nothing funny. Wow. Yeah, she didn't like Johnny like Carson. That? Yeah, yeah, get lit right, off right. Uh, Bumpy Face Gin. Okay. And talk okay. to the contestants on Wheel of Fortune. And fifth grade education, okay, fifth okay. grade education, but telling Vanna White what she needed to be doing. I heard that. I love yeah, it. I love it was it. A, it was interesting. Well, okay, was interesting. now in school, how far did you go away to twelfth grade? No, I went to college. Oh, the co- oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. I went to college. So what? When you were five, and you okay? When did you I, escape the situation? Uh, when I was college? seventeen. When I was seventeen, I was I graduated and I left. Okay, so, to, to college. Uh, yeah, to college. So I was wow. pretty much on my own. I've been on my own since I was twelve. Damn. Like like literally, after my grandmother died at twelve, right. I was pretty much on my own. I, I had a house to stay in that was cool, but no one is like making sure I get things done, making really? sure I, the homework and the room. Is, no, nobody's doing. What, what would make a twelve year old follow a straight line? Knowing that you want to get out of this environment, you just put yourself on a strict path right, and right. disciplinary, uh, being a disciplinary, disciplinary mind to say, you know what, I'm strong enough to realize this is not what I want to do. And I'm already seeing the trajectory of, of what I want to do in my life. And it's not this. I do not want to be here. But that's amazing that you were around a lot of, like, let's say you were in the hurricane of uh, tornadoness of bullshit. Whatever. I had a storm. Crackhead or I had a storm. Mm-hmm. Right. I, and you could, as a, as a 12-year-old, could see 
something better. Most oh, 12-year-olds can't see, you know, they, they too oh, young yeah. to even see shit. If, even if it's good, they, they fuck right. up, okay? Their parents got good jobs. They still mess up. So for someone like yourself, man, that's amazing. Your survival yeah. skills kick in. Okay. When, when you're in an environment and you, you, it's not normal, right? It's not normal. Immediately, your human instinct says, I need to survive. Mm. So and in that, having that, that thought process, I said, you know what? I got to make sure that I keep this because mm. I got to get out of this environment. Smart. I'm not going to be around this. Smart. Smart. I just got to, I need to, I was trying to get a job as, as soon as I could. I wanted to make sure I had a position that was going to be alternate from the, the unks, the uncles and the aunts that I, that I grew up with. I just wanted something different and right. I saw it early. And what, what school did you go to? I went to Tioga High School, uh, and then I went to LSU Shreveport, and then I transferred to LSU Baton Rouge. LSU, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And what did you study? Uh, sociology. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Well, well, shit, right? You're perfect for comedy, then. Mm -hmm. shit, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Now, speaking of comedy, was it in college you started wanting to, to, to do comedy? Is that what, what kind of hit you? Yeah, in college, man. Um, I had a girlfriend at the time, mm -hmm. and um, I, I, it hit me. I was mm -hmm. in class one day. I said, mm -hmm. you know what? I know what I want to do. I'll never mm -hmm. forget, I was in sociology class and I'm sitting there and I didn't pull my books out. I, mm -hmm. I sat right next to this girl, I would always sit to her, we'd just slip. We would just talk and have a good time and just cut up in class and I sat next to her and I didn't pull my books out. And she's like, pull your books out, we're about to start. I was like, no, I'm not. So the professor comes in and he was like, all right, everybody, everybody books out. And he looks, he looks at me and he sees I don't have my, he's like, D, you're not gonna participate today? Right. I was like, Nah. And they laugh. But I was serious. I had really already made my mind up. And I leaned over to the girl. I said, you know what I'm going to do right now? She said, what? I said, I'm going to drop all my classes. She giggled like uncomfortably. <laughs> what? I said, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'll see you later. And I grabbed my bags and left. Went to my girlfriend's house. I said, I got it, because I've been talking about the whole week. What am I going to do with my life? I don't know what I want to do, and it hit me. Mm -hmm. I said, I want to do comedy. And you know how you see somebody's face, like you know they don't believe in you, but mm -hmm, that sure. she was I like, oh, oh God. Yeah. comedy. Yeah, cute. That's a little cute oh. little comedy thing. Okay, yeah. so like, what you going to do after that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, that's, that's it. And she was like, okay, I support you. I'm like, no, you don't. Right. You right. lied, uh -huh. you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Packed all my stuff. I went to Louisiana. I drove, drove to Alexandria because I'm in Baton Rouge. Drove to Alexandria, and my aunt, who does hair, she's in the in our, which is a shop with, inside of her home, and she's doing hair in there. And I come home from school, and I'm the first one to go to school with my family, so it's a big deal. For sure. And they're like, oh, "What are you doing home from school?" I was like, "I quit." And it's like it's like everything got quiet. It's like everybody heard it. It's like what? And some other, my relatives are in the back. My aunt is in the front with some other ladies doing hair. I said, yeah, I quit. She said, so what you going to do next? They always say that. Okay, well. I said, I'm going to go to uh, clown I'm school. Move. I'm going <laughs> to go to Hollywood. I was uncomfortable <laughs> even telling her. I was even uncomfortable right. telling sure, her what sure, my dream was. I was sure. like, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Hollywood. So hold on. Hey, y'all. She started calling people from the back. Y'all come in here. Come hear this shit. <laughs> All right. And like three of my aunts come in and it was like, Daddy, what you doing home from school? Tell them why you're home. Tell them. I was like, I quit. You quit? Yeah, now tell them why you quit. She, she's egging it on. I was like, uh, he want to go to Hollywood and go be on TV. That's what he think. Oh. And in my mind, I'm like, that's exactly what I think. Right. Like, y'all don't see it. And, and like, a lot of times when you, when you have a huge dream, I always compare it to this. My relatives to my vision. Like you're looking at life through your regular eyes. Sure, sure. Uh, I'm looking through a telescope. Sure. So sure. I'm seeing stuff way down the line that you can't even imagine. And you won't even step outside your box to even imagine a telescope in which you can see things a thousand miles right, away. Right, right. What year was this? This is 2000. Oh, man, she should, they should know better. Because I started back in, in the mid 80s and it was like, uh, Comedy, nigga. Get your ass in the gut. I, live, I grew up in D.C. Man, get oh, your ass right in, in the 80s. You better get, wow. your, you better get your ass a, D, a job at the, you know, for the government right. and stuff. So it wasn't even fathom that you could even be a comedian and you make a living like Unheard that. Unheard of. So that was crazy. So let me ask you this question. If you weren't, if you did comedy didn't pick up, what were you about to do? What did you think you were about to do with your life? Uh, did you think of something before that? This is going to sound crazy as hell. Then what to say it then. It's going to be the panic room, bro. You're right. Okay. 
and I feel like this is a safe space. Oh, that's what it is. Bring I feel it like up. I can say some shit. Uh, gonna be come on now. Oh, they finna get me with this. They about to get Ooh, Ooh the church community mm. about to get me. Ooh! Here's the deal. Two things I would have done. If I would have done the right thing, because I had two paths. Okay. You also, it's always a fork in a row. Okay. Two paths. I was going to either be a blackjack dealer. I just want to be a blackjack dealer that earned his own tips. Oh, okay, okay, no wrong there. Ooh, here it come. Or I was going to be a crooked pastor. You mean, you mean a pastor, you mean? Of a church. Right, just a pastor. But that, this is like, I'm done with, like, okay. I'm done, like, I'm done with right, trying right, to do right. Right, 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 right. I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a church. I'm going to start small. And right. I'm going to be a mega pastor. Nice. I'm talking huge. And be crooked as hell. I'm taking up so many offerings. Would you be call yourself, like, Creflo Sense? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Creflo mm -hmm, Peso? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pesos? Pastor Lay. Pastor Lay! Pastor Lay! Pastor Child, y'all gonna see Pastor Lay. He yeah, put his hands on you. I'm, but here's the deal. Ooh. I ain't, you ain't gonna find no sexual scandals in my church. I'm there for the money. Oh, wow. I'm tearing their ass out the frame. Okay, so you know Because I've seen it. I've right, seen them right, do right, it. Right, right. And I'm like, man, if I really, yeah. okay, if I okay. wanted to, you know, <laughs> I really, seriously, now this sounds crazy as hell, because I sat, I sat in church and it hit me. I said, wow, I always thought it was my relatives. No, the church begs more than Anybody. Ooh, uh, come on now. Come on now. Wow. Anybody. Can that plate come around one more time? I'm not even mad though. Oh, what? Pierre, I'm not even mad at it. I, I like I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm like uh, it's 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 a it's a I'm not saying that these passes, all of them are doing right, it. Right, right. Some of these guys are really anointed. They got, you know, they right, sure, the three. But if I ever wanted to go off the deep end, okay. I'm a pastor late. Ooh, Pastor Lay. My 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 uh, uh this my assistant pastor is gonna be named Pastor Cavassier. Lay and Cavassier. Yeah, Lay and Cavassier. What would your church name be? Think about the name. Yes. What would the name be? It would be, I'll be going to where? Um, Make it long, too. It would have to be, it was, it's going to be elaborate. Okay, go It's going to be elaborate. I would call it um, uh, the mansion on the hill will cavalry set, but our new king now rest. Woo! Faith oh, and oh, hope. Oh, damn. Missionary. Okay. okay. Baptist oh, damn. church. In Christ, the Savior. And, and, so, so you, you wouldn't really have a pamphlet every Sunday because that's too long. Oh, no, 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 we don't need all that. We don't need all that. We don't need all that. Yeah. And here's yeah, the deal. No. My church will last anywhere from 45 minutes to three hours. It depends on how much money y'all giving. Hey, the game coming on, brother. The game coming on. I got man. the game in the church. The okay. game is on in the oh, church. Well, there, there, nobody got to go nowhere. <laughs> that, 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 just true. make sure you Stay just whenever on. when Stay the play on. comes around. Okay, okay. Just between, drop quarters, between, between quarters. Between quarters. I'll let you. Right, right, Listen, right. I'm the first pastor that's gonna let you have a break. Hell no. You have a break in the church. A break? Yeah, man. Dallas playing. Oh, okay. Let them be, let them, I got a lot of cowboy okay, fans in my okay, congregation. Okay, okay, okay. Let them fans make them recount their money again. They listen. Let's pick up the account right the first time. I saw Creflo Dollar. Okay. Ask some people, they call them a congregation, right. for a plane. Then you're in a hurry. Come on, watch your mouth. Listen, when I, when I, seriously, when I heard that, I said, wow, it's the power of the pulpit. Right. It's the power. If I ever go off the deep end, right. Blackjack is done. Now, I'm already, I'm already, that's my right, other option. Right, right. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to be a blackjack dealer. I'm going to be wow. a Wow. Pastor Lay. All right, all right. The, there it is right there, Pastor Lay. I love it. All right, so, um, you know, you're in college. You start doing comedy. Yes. You, you, you become pretty good at it. You know what no. I'm saying? Oh. No, no. See, I don't like that, Pierre. I hate when people say that. The first time we saw D-Lay, we knew it. We looked him in the eyes. We said, he's a star. Mm -hmm. Let me say this right now, okay. Pierre. Okay, there we go. Come on, keep it Hear me and hear me clearly. All right. If you hear somebody say that, if you have permission to be like, user with a Z in it. Use a damn lie. Hell no, use it. Use it, because I bombed the first time I was like, yeah, Y-O-U-Z-A. Let's see what user is. In this user, yeah. okay, I was no, just spelling no, B champs. Okay. Y-O-U-Z-A. Okay. <laughs> you tell them that I said they a lie because the first, like, it takes time, like, for me, mm -hmm. and you, you would agree, it takes time to really build the confidence, the material, the stage presence, mm -hmm. the delivery, all oh, that. Yeah. How do you see that the first time? Well, some people do. Some people mm -hmm. have that eye. Mm -hmm. But I went up, and I'll never forget, the house MC name was Tom. White guy, probably about 60 years old. He was hilarious. Mm -hmm. We had the Funny Bone in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. It's three other acts on there. Now, I just got this gig two days ago. Okay. Your just first gig, is your first gig? First gig. Okay. Two days ago. Congratulations, brother. I'm yes, happy for I'm you. happy about okay. it. Okay. I tell everybody at the job, I'm working at the mm -hmm. casino on the riverboat. So I got all these people coming. Oh, why not? 
We didn't sold it out. It is. I'm not getting nothing from this. Damn. Now, when I think back, I'm like, man, I just made the, the, the headliner a lot of money. Right, sure. He didn't sell this out. Right. I sold this you out. You sold it. They came to see D-Lay. Right. And I'm doing a hot three minutes. Oh, man, you got this, boy. This, you got this. It's right over here. after this. Okay. Well, then it's, it's over. Star, star. I'm quitting my job. Okay. I've already made my mind. Well, if, if, I don't blame you. I get in there, and I see all these people. And it's of course. Of coworkers. Of course. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Ooh, I'm a little nervous. You know what I mean? So I go in the green room, and all the other comedians in there. Okay, sure. Okay. It's a Mexican guy, a white, and a... And a, and a Man, that was a fat white lady. Ain't no way to say that. That oh, one damn. was fat. So she wasn't involved. Oh, no, because let me cause, bloody, cause, man. No, no, no. Now here's the deal. Mexican. Ain't no other way to describe that. She's so peace. Nah, bro. That one was fat. She wasn't Mexican. No, she was white. Hell no. The Mexican was a, he was a normal sized Mexican. Oh, oh, the Mexican and a fat white woman. Okay, fat, okay, yeah, too. Yeah. Okay, you said the Mexican was a fat white. Right. Woman. I was kind of hesitant oh, about oh, saying oh. a fat, fat white woman because uh, you know uh, the uh, climate uh, that we uh, have. But I'm like, I didn't know whether. Panic room right now. All right, come on. She was a fat white woman. There's no other. She was a fat white woman. Right. Okay. Okay. I got it. You know what I mean? People so sensitive. You're the only comic I know dropping f bombs on my oh, on my show, man. Fair. That is an f bomb. <laughs> okay. I'm sweating like Trump at a Black Lives Matter rally. Right. Okay. Well, now you good, man? You good? Uh, <laughs> okay. So there three was in there. I mean, the people so, was in there, right? And, and Uncle Tom was and, in there. And Uncle Tom was in there. Right, and right. Uh, he says, um, "Hey, man, listen, I'm gonna bring you up next." And the Mexican guy, the headliner, said, "Hey, how, how long have you been doing?" And I said, "It's it's my first night." Oh, first night. <laughs> I remember my first night. I was throwing up before I went on stage. Oh, wow. Ah, I was like, bro, I don't, I don't need to hit, hit this shit, right. I'm already nervous. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Now I'm done. Now I've been practicing in the mirror for a whole 48 hours. Oh. Just me in the you mirror. You ready, brother? You ready? I'm about to launch my career. There it is. It's on. Quit that job. Go right, right in front of all your coworkers. I'm done with it. Y'all see, right. seen the ride, the all fame right, right okay. in my face. Okay. Tom brings me up so eloquently. Nice. Eloquently. He says, uh, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage, this next young man, he's a star. Mm, nice. I, can, I know, I've been around this business 30 years, and I know a star when I see one. Be on the lookout for him. You probably see him on BET or HBO, mm -hmm. but he's here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for D. Lay. Mm. I feel like I was about to go out and do some jazz. Okay. You know what I mean? The okay. brother brought me out. Okay. I almost, I'm like, who, who, who did all that? Okay. That's me. I go out there on that stage, and they are going nuts. These are my coworkers. They are going nuts. I throw that first joke out. Nice. Throw it out there. I just let it. It's like ooh, it's ooh. almost like a soft jumper. I just let that. And it's spinning in the air. It's spinning. It's spinning in the air. And it's spinning. It's slow motion. Ooh, I know what I'm talking it's about. Slow motion. I'm just oh, waiting for the thing to hit all that. Shit. Nothing. Swish. Air ball. What, what? Hold on. Now. Air ball. What the fuck? Yeah. The first flat thing. line. Damn. Like, yeah. Nothing. Damn. And as a new comic, I'm rattled. Of course. In my, heard, I heard, I, in my head, I heard right. laughter at right. that point. Right. All in the mirror. So I said, oh, For the last 48 hours. I said, oh, my gosh. So I rushed. Did the next joke. There it is. You saved yourself. Ah. No, no saving that either. This one hit the backboard at Bing. the top of the backboard. Damn. Bop, bing, and went bing. out of bounds. Damn. Yeah, so now the crowd is uneasy. Right, right. They, they don't trust me. Right, These right. people don't trust me. I can't blame them. And uh, I, could, I could hear the Nobody's saying nothing, but their bodies are moving. And I was like, oh, my gosh, mm -hmm. I got to get out of here. The dishes clanking. I, I got to get out of here. Right, sure. This, I, I got to figure out how to get out of here. Right, right. And here's the deal. I'm out of material. I have nothing else. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two out. jokes? That's all I had. Oh, hell In my no. mind, those jokes were going to be like continuous laughs. Right. And For three minutes. You with the last right. one. Right. Right. So nothing is happening. So I hit them with, so how many of y'all having a good time tonight? Oh. And they just kind of like clap, like it was like right. a Randy Watson clap. Right. You know, you know, right. Dude, right. Right. A big round of applause. It, right. it was one of those. Right. So I was like, yeah, I, gotta, I can't leave out with nothing. I got to get something. Of course. I said something, and I heard a couple of people chuckle. Okay. That's my time. I'm delayed. There it is. Right there. Woo. Woo. I, get out <laughs> I run out. I get out. Now, at this time, I told my girlfriend at the time, I don't want you to really come. Right. Because I, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. I don't want to be embarrassed. Okay, I feel you. just you. stay. She said, okay, cool. So when I leave the stage, I go straight to the bar. Who's at the bar? The, uh, the feature, the fat white lady. Right. And I said, let me get some shots of cognac. So the lady brings a shot, and I just take it. She was like, slow down. Slow down. How long have you been doing this? I was like, this is my first and last Three time. <laughs> I'm never doing it. She was like, it's your first night? Oh. You got a lot of learning to do. You got books you can read. You got classes you can take. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. As I'm saying that, a lady walks up behind me, taps me on the shoulder. She says, excuse me, I want to talk to you about doing another show. Ooh. Uh, Pierre, I didn't even turn uh, around. Uh, you just said no. I didn't even, I just said, 
hey, ma'am, did you see what just happened? She's still behind me. Right. Did you see what just happened on stage? <laughs> yes, I sit and I see something. Mm-mm. <laughs> you think, nah, I said, ma'am, please, I'm never doing comedy again. Let me get another shot. The lady brings another shot, I'm doing it again. She's like, seriously, I really want to talk to you about doing another show. Ma'am, I'm done with this. I'm going home. I'm done with this. On my way out, I see my girlfriend. Who the hell told you to come? Ooh-wee. I told you to sit your ass home. I didn't know what was going to happen tonight. And now it seems like you didn't see what didn't happen tonight. Mm-hmm. So I cut to, I go back to work the next day. I got so many people that don't even know what to say to me. They so embarrassed. Damn. They so embarrassed. Hey, bro. Saw you last night on stage. <laughs> hey. At least you got a job. Wow. At least you got a job, bro. You're here, you're here this morning. You're here. The lady that was at the at the show mm-hmm. that was asking me about the show shows up. Her name is Lacey. She comes up. She says, "Hey, I know we talked about this last night, but I gotta talk to you. Just do this one show for me." I said, "Ma'am, I'm done with comedy. I'm out of here." She said, "Listen, if you do this one show, I'll never bother you again." I said, "You know what? Put me on the show." She put me on the show. I did decent. Here I am. Here, you nice, nice, yep. nice. No, no, I like that. I like that. I said that. Yeah. Right. So hold on. So then you you started working. Oh, yeah. Now, I heard you had a crazy experience with one of the heroes of comedy. Well, mm. I don't say hero. Jimmy J.J. Walker. Do you remember him? Did you remember working with him? Now, for I, what I heard, I, I, I'm going to let you explain it. I'm going to let you explain. Mm, that's, that's a soft spot. That's a, that's a soft spot. Okay, well, that damn. That's right. He glasses off. Oh, damn. Face wiped like uh, Bishop Lay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So it I'm is a, true. I'm I a new comedian. And right. now here's the deal. Right, right after I did that show that the lady Lacey asked right, me sure, that sure. I did decent, right, sure. I get booked on another show. Mm-hmm. Right. This is my first road gig. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Right, right. It's me, a, g- a gentleman named uh, Tyrone and Sebastian. Okay. Now Tyrone is a new comic as well. But the show that we just did, that I did decent right. on, he destroyed it. He destroys it. He takes off his shirt Woo! and he does one of these King Kong ain't got mm-hmm. on me, right. right? Just kind of mimicking what mm-hmm. Denzel did, but the crowd is going nuts, right? So after the show, I walk up to him. I was like, hey, man, listen, this guy just said he booked us on another show. Hey, we got two weeks before the show. What do you work out at? He was like, man, I don't work out. Mm. Gifted. Oh, I just do this off the dome. That's what I do. You see what I just did? I just killed them. I was like, so you don't, you don't practice at all? I don't have to practice. Right. I was like, okay. I'm going to practice. I'm going to try right, to practice because right, right, right. I was trying to invite him to a, the spot that I work. So we're on the road. It's me, Tyrone, Sebastian. Sebastian's driving. It's a four and a half hour drive to Greenville, Mississippi. We're doing one Ooh. of the river boats. Right. We get there. And this is big for me, Pierre. I'm getting 300 US dollars for the show. Ooh. This is huge, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. I'm, try, I'm, I'm calling people, telling them you, don't, you ain't really got to work. Right, 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 right. I'm getting right, 300 right, all, right. for one show. Shit. I get there, four and a half hours, we're tired. He gets us one hotel room. No, hold, hold on now. One hotel room. And Cheap. one bed? And one bed? I, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm just, no, it's, no, it's two beds. Oh, but I'm saying, I don't know what type of environment it is. I'm like, mm-hmm. that's pretty much what happens when you're on the road, right? That's mm-hmm. what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. So we get there, and at the time, I don't know Jimmy J.J. Walker's on the show. I, I, I'm here. I'm I here. do not right, know that right. this man's on the show. Right. I'm thinking it's just right. us three <laughs> and then, you know, a couple other guys. Right, right. We get there, I see the poster. I was like, and they had our names on it, right. but they had Jimmy J.J. Walker's face. So I was like, Jimmy J.J. Walker's on this show? Right. Oh, shit. Tell hey, me. man, take me to the green room. Right. I need to go see Jimmy. And when I said that to the promoter, he he thought I knew J.J. Right, 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 yeah. Black, so black, 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 and black. Black. So he was like, black. okay, cool, babe, come on. Because okay. I'm like, I grew up on Jimmy J.J. Walker. Right, Are you right. kidding me? Right. I got to hit you with this. Right. He walks me all the way down to J.J.'s room. He knocks on the door. When he knocked on the door, crack it open, I push it open the rest of the way. I said, I know mine! No, 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 you didn't. No, you didn't. Now, nigga, you should know better than that. I don't give a I'm what's brand new. I don't give this a is my you first road gig. You ain't a brand new human. No, no, no. <laughs> I've never, I'm from Alexandria, Louisiana. I've okay. never been around right, nobody. All right, all right, I just saw Jimmy J.J. Walker. Shit, I go keep crazy right in the newscasters. Dino mine! His man, he had another old ass security guard that was sitting there with him. Right, right. He said, hey, man. Get the fuck out of my room. I was like, JJ cuss? Right, right. Dino, Dino Mike cuss? <laughs> right. He was like, so the, uh, the uh, promoter, he's like, man, I thought you knew Jimmy. I said, I know him from TV. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. 
How would I know? Why would I know Jimmy J.J. Walker? Right, right, right. right. It's about, I've just been on stage twice. Well, everything black and black. Man, Jimmy, I wanted to go apologize to him right, at the right, end of the right. night. So I tell the promoter, I say, listen, man, me and Jimmy got off on the wrong foot. Right, right, of course. You got off the wrong foot. No, me and Jimmy, because he right. told me to get the fuck out of here. Oh, right, right. Okay, that's wrong. <laughs> that's the wrong foot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I said, uh, I said, let me just go talk to Jimmy after my set and let him know, you know, my bad. He said, no, man, Jimmy actually told me to put you off the show. He didn't want, he didn't want to have nothing to do with you. And wow. I was like, that dirty you son of a bitch. He would have never done Michael like this. There it is right there. Thelma. Speaking of doing somebody. Like, better. Speaking of doing somebody like something, man, I don't know if you remember this little thing. Mm -hmm. Called Who Got Jokes, nigga? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, watch your mouth. Ah. It was a competition show on yes. one of them fucking network, one of them damn networks. Uh, TV One. Uh, okay, TV I, one. I, I forgot about it. And TV One. People asked me to do it. I said, I ain't doing no damn competition. I'm a movie star. That's right. That's what I was. I was a movie star. Yeah. I said, all right, I'll do it. Got a couple people, a couple comments. I look at the list. Who's that? A delay. What the fuck is a delay? That's <laughs> like some from Hawaii or something. You know, right. delay, 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 delay. I didn't know if it was a girl or guy. Who's that right. guy? Who's that? I'm going up against a delay and so on and so on. Who the damn them? I went up there and I did my thing, brother. I killed it. He did. I remember I was outside and I could hear the rumble. I was outside the building. This contest is my hind Constitution Hall. I'm outside in the back and I'm like, first of all, I'm mad. You should I'm like, be. He ain't supposed to be on the show. Uh, exactly. They didn't feel me up friends. They right. get a whole right. movie together. Get his ass off. Right. And then T.P. Hearns. Right. I was all like, what are all these... These are veterans. Why are they on this show? So I did my thing. I tried to go tell on y'all. You, you, well, I wish you had, nigga, okay? And then I do my thing in rock, and then they say, next up, delay. Who the fuck is it? Can we delay the show? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. What the hell is delay? Well, delay one. Yeah. That's yeah. some bullshit. Now. I remember that. I had a green I jacket I haven't liked on. you since then. I just, I just started liking you since yesterday. Just yesterday, just, yeah, a couple yeah, days yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, a couple days ago. I didn't I but I didn't, I'm, I'm surprised because I'm like, <laughs> What is he doing on this show? <laughs> he's from DC. I'm like, he's a setup. Why'd y'all bring me here to set me up? Y'all know right. this dude gonna win. Right, That's right, Bill right, Boy. Right, right, right. right. And well, I don't know Bill at the time. Right, I, I right. don't know, but I know him and we have a relationship together. Nah, man, and, you, you killed it. You man, killed it, bro. No, you, you killed man. it. Let me tell you, when you went up there, I said, damn, this boy got the energy of, wow, yeah, I'm just here. So you deserve it. Speaking of Bill, you went on tour. I, now, you know, Bill did the old, oh, oh, uh, what's that? Ladies' oh, night out. Yeah, but what's the dude that first started that? Uh, Teddy Pendergrass had a show. You know, oh, Teddy yeah, Pendergrass yeah, started the ladies' night. Where only ladies were right. invited and stuff. Now, was it a show where only ladies were? Or did, no, 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 no. It was, it was, it was called Ladies' Night Out. Called but you can bring out. your woman out if you yes, want to. Yes. Bring your lady. Okay. It was you. This is a, this is a heat. It's a heat of a show. Yeah. You. Well, Bill Bellamy, my man, Bill Bellamy. You, Ali Sadiq. Mm -hmm. Okay. And my boy Jay Reed Jay from Reed. Vegas. Yep. All three. Dapper Dan, young men, mm -hmm. got haircuts before every show. I got yeah, one yeah. of them in the middle of my show. I said, Hold Hell on. no, okay. Yeah, you was nah, a yeah, chair I look, <laughs> yeah, I looked on the, on the um, jumbo <laughs> right, and I was like, Wait right, a minute. Right, right. I'm missing something. Hey, Khalil, come up here real quick. Y'all just hold them last for one second. <laughs> hit, me, hit my corner right here. But you know, it's funny. Now, you said some men were in there. The photos I saw, yeah. the men must have been way in the back. Because all the front with them were women, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Women, just yeah. huge women. Let me ask you something. First of all, what was the order? How do you put an order of all that kind of smoke? Who goes last? Uh, Bill. Bill, right? Bill goes last. Okay, Bill went last. Yeah, Bill host. goes okay. last. Who hosted it? Uh, Ali Sadiq hosts. Oh, good host, great host. Yeah, Jay Reed. Right, and then me. you. Yeah, and then Bill. I'm gonna give Bill. I'm gonna give Bill credit for that, man. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you don't put heat in front of him like that. No, no. And all three of y'all was heat. Yeah. Or still are heat. Right. So I got to respect that. But I remember hearing, I said, ladies night, how kind of show? But it was so smart. Yeah. You know, I was like, that's a smart thing. Yeah. And y'all toured a lot. Y'all did all the comedy clubs, packed yeah. out all the damn shows and so forth. But right? let me tell you how it started, though, Pierre. It was crazy. After Who's Got Jokes, they mm -hmm. were supposed to do the Who's Got Jokes All-Stars. Okay. And Bill, me and Bill, when we left Germany, we were just, we were rocking at this mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. And he was like, man, yeah, we're going to, you know, they're giving me some pushback on the Who's Got Jokes All-Stars. Mm -hmm. I'm like, so do your own show. Mm hmm Let's just name it and just mm -hmm. put it out and just, you know what I mean? And go about it that way. Mm -hmm. He was like, I don't know. So he called me back like a day later. He was like, yeah, man, I was thinking about what you're saying, man. We should do something like that. I was like, yeah, but like, don't wait on them. Just do your thing. It's already, you know what I mean? People know you. Call it mm -hmm. Bill Bellamy Presents. Right. Bill Bellamy. And I was like, whatever it is, it need to be with some ladies. It need to be right. some ladies. Yeah, think about beautiful ladies and roses being given out and just, you mm -hmm. know. And he was like, yeah, a lot of ladies. Yeah, like a ladies night out tour. There you go. He was like, yeah, man. Nigga, Bill Bellamy's ladies out tour. 
We can we can't call it delays, ladies. Now, to us, it's it's, I'm, it's too early. Uh, easy, you know easy. What I mean? It's too early. Bring a couple notches down, right, bro. Right. Uh, so we did that <laughs> and 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 grabbed you know the other two guys, which was a perfect fit for sure. It. Nice, and it was nice. We, no, we, when I saw it, man, I was envious. I was like, that's smart. That was yeah. a smart move. It was a good move. And and again, y'all were just nice, nice looking gentlemen. Y'all were funny yeah, though. Funny, right? Sometimes you been a lot of nice looking people, and it's like, hmm, yeah, mm, so you do some nice, nice suits. Right. And then, but yeah. damn. How did you? How did you resist? Or I mean, you know, I mean, right. you know, you know, resist the temptation. Right. But let me tell you, when I was on the road back in the day, heavy. Yeah. I didn't resist. Yeah. 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 I. Uh, I got. I, I, I just finished my last payments uh, two months ago. Two months ago. Right. Yeah. Uh, Cause I should have resisted. It, it was. It was rough. It was rough. <laughs> uh, I, I had. Uh, at that time, right. you know, uh, I was in a relationship. Okay. I spoken in the past about my infidelities in the right, relationship. Right, right, right. It was hard. Hey, I, I had never had ass thrown reasons, at me right. as often. What? Like that. I mean, I've right, had it. Right, I've right, had it. Right, 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 right. But it's next but level. But to have yeah. it at that, that level, right, like right. I didn't even say right, nothing to you. Right. Why your drawers off? Ooh, you know what I mean? Wee. So okay. you know, I had to. I had right. to. It, it takes some discipline. That's the thing about sure. comedy. They just you, you could you have all the free will that you want. Sure. You have to have a disciplined mindset to say, hey man, I don't need to. I don't need to bang everybody. Right, right. Why well, I gotta bang right, everybody? Right. I banged right, everybody right. last night. Right, 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 right. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Right. It's the same city still, you know, second same show. Same city, right. Second, second show. Right, right. second show. So why? Yeah, you know, because I can see a lot of y'all just being depleted on stage. You know what I'm saying? Just no, it was, no I, was the, you know, I was really the show, wild card. I was the wild card. Up I was the wild you card. You were the wild card out of all of them? Yes, I was the wild card. Okay, okay, okay. And. There's water there too, I know. I'm not proud of you. Let me just say that. First of all, I don't want anybody that's that, that think I'm an advocate. For infidelity. Right, right. No, no, no. How no, dare no, no, you? No, no. Right, right. Hush your mouth. You were younger back then, and I was not naive. I, listen, right, right. I was a lamb. Right. Oh. I was a lamb. And they were wolves and, and sheep. They were and wolves and right, sheep. Right, and right, right. Let me. Can I be eyes? Oh, 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 Pierre's oh, What we at? What we in, bro? These ladies had me. Oh. Had you at what? At, at, at a smile, at, motherfucker. At their will. They oh, had oh, their will. Oh, okay. Like I don't know if you've been like had like you ever woke up and you feel like I I didn't have sex with you. You had sex with my body. Damn, damn. You did me in. Yeah, so like, when, and when you start to value yourself, you start to mature, you realize, hey, man, wait a minute. Wait right, a minute. right. I don't need all, all that. That is fun. Right. But I don't need it all. I, I started valuing myself about, about three months ago. Three, three months, months yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah, I just said, fuck it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> three yeah, three yeah, months yeah. ago, you started to value. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a long time, brother. I've been devalued. You've been devalued. Yeah, right, right, but let me devalued. tell you who you are. You're Amazon. The, You're Amazon. Am I prime, though? You're, am, you're the stock when oh, it was at oh, 2000. Oh, okay. Is that 190 right now? Right. Okay, However, okay. nice actually that's 115. Okay. Uh, but it's it's got so much potential. Poten there it is. You know what I mean? I have and, protein and you know, potential. Oh, protein. Oh, can, can I get a little love on that? Protein potential. You nasty boy. You nasty. <laughs> nasty boy. You nasty. Okay. Did, Man. You, did, did you find yourself or have you did, you, did you skew your jokes a little bit more towards women? And I say this for one reason. I used to go on stage and talk about dating women, how women be you no know, messed up shit like that. Because I right. date women, I don't date men, so right. I, you know, I did that. But women came to see me, so I was kind of bashing them a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's my humor about women that they do wrong, do that kind of shit. Right. And then when I had it, it clicked on me. I said, "Hold on, that's not the no. These are women. They so like you. So right. So what you do is instead of saying, "Man, women, y'all be cheap as hell," you say, "I know everyone y'all got a girlfriend who cheap as hell. Yeah. So it ain't the her. Girl. It ain't them. Don't I mean, group them the together. Girl. There you go. Don't group them did together. you see yourself maybe twisting some of your material? No. Around? No. You gonna get this raw me. Ooh, ooh. You go uh, with that. Yeah, they did mostly. Right, right. Yeah. No pun intended. Yeah, yeah. okay. Raw meat. Uh -huh. Oh, raw meat. Some of y'all heard raw meat. <laughs> See, some y'all. No, I was about. Well, we just talking about raw meat earlier. Right. Y'all gotta hear my teeth. Oh, okay, my bad. Teeth. Teeth. Raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> but I said the raw, raw meat. meat. My yeah, bad. Meat. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I never tried to tailor it, and it's just. Mm -hmm. uh, I just did what always worked for me. Okay. Which is just tell my truth and live in my zone and bring the people to me. And that's how that, that's, that just works that way. Mm -hmm. And after, you know, if they like me, they like me, but they usually like me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, a lot of people like you, man. Especially, like I said, I, I catch you on social media, man. You're heavy on social media. Mm -hmm. You're kind of to me in the middle. You're not, you know, you're a 22 year old. Right. You also ain't no 50 year old. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you're right in that middle that can bounce both ways. I'm you know a hybrid. what I'm saying? Hybrid. I'm a hybrid. I like that word. Mm -hmm. You're a hybrid comic. Mm -hmm. And, and we're saying that, how do you feel the landscape? What, what, what's the problem? I, I, know, I know the problem, but mm -hmm. I'm asking you. What's the problem with the OGs and the young cats? You, you see how, how sometimes they don't do that? What would you, on one side should do this and one side should do that or what? How, it, what it's you? like, you got to think like the, the wave, how it came in. Mm -hmm. 
comedy wasn't used to having guys that were young that came in and started grabbing the bag right away. It wasn't like that. Usually in the, in the game of comedy, you're gonna work four, five, six, seven years before That's you start really seeing okay. that money. Mm -hmm. So with this era, how it came through was, you had a guy that's been doing comedy for a year. He making 20 racks a month from the crib. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So then the audience started just gravitating to wherever they thought was a comedian because we were locked down and all you see is things that's on the internet. And you can be whoever you want to be on the internet. You can say whatever you want, you can be whoever you, and if you tell somebody, hey listen, I'm a makeup artist. Put three, put three videos up and put it in your bio. Who gonna tell you that you're not? Right, you're makeup artist. So when comedians were putting, when young, you know, younger influencers were putting comedian up, the audience was buying that. And OGs like, man, it ain't fair, you know what I mean? I'm a real comedian, mm -hmm. I'm a real comedian. And I'm just literally, I'm in the middle of it. Right, sure. Because I'm watching both sides and I'm like, I'm about to go over there with these young boys right, sure. and learn this game. And now I be, you know, professional in both lanes. So I never sat back on the outside and be like, no, I saw the game. Right. I saw the sure. money that was being made. Sure. Sure. And I sure. think the divide came with the money. Right, right. When the old heads saw that these cats were making it, and then they right. started transitioning to the stage and was making what they were making when it took them years to make. It was a little bit of slight animosity. Uh, and no slight, man, a whole bunch. Whole lot, okay. Well, and, and it's funny you say that because, first of all, the young comedians or the OGs mm -hmm. would have done the same shit if the internet was around back in right. 1990, okay? 88, 90, 91, 92. It wasn't around. No. Okay, because there were old cats older than my crew because when we did Def Jam, the Arsenio Halls and the older dudes and right. the Jimmy Walker, that's good, you cuss up there, your pants hanging down. We had the avenue that our right. internet was Def Comedy Jam, right. you know right. what I'm saying? Right. Or BT Comedy View. So that we had the older heads, didn't like us either, and mm -hmm. we were cool. Now we become a little more of the older heads with the younger cats. But the younger cats, as I tell, young always has more energy. Right. You know, I mean, majority has it's more energy. Fresh. It's right. But fresh. Right, but they have the energy to put out 20 you know, clips every week. You know right. what I'm saying? Old head got wife on his back, some kids and shit. He ain't got that thing. He, he can go to a comedy club for the weekend. Yeah. So he's mad at the young cats who have that energy and who know the internet. Right, You right. can't be mad at them. They use what's, what's at their hand. Now, I think this, which I have done. I brought a lot of young cats. I've had uh, Country Wayne on here a couple of times. Yeah, I, had, I saw that. Uh, Funny Marco. I tried to get Desi uh, Banks on. So I don't mind getting young cats. And I consider this a semi-young who are, who are heavy on the internet because... I think it should be a marriage. I bring them young cats, and I, I don't mind getting in their skits. I've got a right. lot of uh, um, Daphne, Daphne Springs. I got yeah. her skits. I don't mind getting them skits because I think I can bring something to the situation too. Right. Because I know how stuff is framed up a lot of times. How you know I know bits how it should start, medium, and middle, end. Right. Some of these young comics don't. They can just say the, the punchline. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not mad at them. But if we come together, I'll show you a little bit of my tricks. You show me how to do this camera, how to yep. do this situation. So. I don't have a beef with the young comics, man. Um, now, be you know, I mean, you know, I don't like all of it. You know what I'm right. saying? Just like his new rap. I don't like all these new rap artists. But Same a couple here. of them fly through like, oh, he cool. But I don't hate on them because they're using what they have at their disposal. Right. And I can't be mad. If your ass is making 20 racks a, a, a week or a month or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know, congratulations. I'm not mad if you sell out a comedy club because I tell the same people this. These bit, Don't blame the comedian. Blame the, com the, the club owner. And you can't blame the club on it because or the waitresses because the waitresses want more people in that place so they can make more Period. money. Right. It's a money situation. I tell the old head, it's a money situation. What you need to do is find a way to pack in the rooms when you're there with great material. Trust me, if you can pack it in just as much as the little young heads mm -hmm. and you have solid material, them club owners will pick you over the young yeah. heads. Trust me. But if you bring in half the people and this young head bringing over packing it out, gotta add shows. Don't be mad. Get out of here. And I like the fact that you, because you had this funny thing, I think it's called, like, come get this or something yeah, you came up with come, that. I, I don't want to say it on your show, but come get this. Right, you know, and, right, 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 right. Right, right. and, 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 and let me, it's let me about get any, it. anybody that's doing anything that's out of pocket, anybody right. that's doing something that's come ridiculous. Get that. It has nothing to do right. with race, it has nothing right. to do with, with, with color, it's just anybody doing some crazy stuff. Right, right. I'm like, hey, come get it. But now, you were talking about this, like, that happens to me. I was in the airport mm -hmm. one time, and I, I look like, Dee. you can hear him whispering. Right, sure. Dee. And we're on an escalator going by. And you know, dudes wait, you know, because they don't want to jump the gun. Right, right, sure. And I'm sure. all the way on the other end. I'm like, hey, yo, D Lay. I turn. I thought those, was, hey, come get this. I'm like, hey, man, there's people around. They're going to think we know each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can't say that out loud right, like that. Right, right, right. All right, so um, now, I believe sometimes comedians, you know, you know we're, we're edgy. Mm -hmm. Some of them, we know, we in that zone of pushing the envelope. And I like that. That's how you expand stuff sometimes. Right. But sometimes the generation don't like that. Right. I'm always down for an artist. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm I'm gonna fight for artists. Right. Be it the skit wasn't good or the joke wasn't good. I don't give a damn. It's art to me. And mm -hmm. I fight and I live and die for this stuff, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And some people feel like if I don't like it, it ain't art. No, 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 no. It's just art you don't like. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the Aerie Spears situation, mm -hmm. other situations. I heard you know you did some funny thing about transgender. She went back and had. This. Do you feel obligated, or what was the right reason you felt like you you apologized for that? I didn't. I didn't apologize. Oh, did you apologize? Nope, and I left the video up. Because it was a teachable moment for my son. Mm -hmm. And it was, a, it was a story that I was telling about, a real story that happened right. with my son. Of course, I put a little glamour on it sure. to make it pop like it pop. But it was a situation where my son at the time, mm -hmm. it was like seven years mm -hmm. old, was like, Daddy, what is that? Right. Didn't we see a man with, you right. know, but he's mm -hmm. got a dress on and he's got the full beard. He mm -hmm. bearded up. And my son is confused, he don't know. And I'm joking mm -hmm. with him, I'm like, oh, son, that's a transformer. You call it a transformer. He was like, what? I said, a transformer. He was like, daddy, I don't care. He doesn't look, it, it, that's deceiving. I said, that's why they call him a Decepticon. Wow. <laughs> and it was so a joke. a joke about that, right? And it's just a joke, you know what I mean? And, and it, it just goes on to me explaining to my son, kind of trying to, in my own you know, right. humorous way of what it is. But my son, you know, now 15 and 16, I told him at that age, hey, listen, this is a different world. You have people that identify as how they want to identify. Uh, I can only teach you from my knowledge within my household. Right. And I think what happens is when, when, when comedians say something, everybody jumps on and attacks. Why not, if I'm coming from a place of, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, let's blame it on my ignorance. Right. Why can't we have a conversation? Why does, why does everything immediately go to, he doesn't like us? Right. That's not true. We, we don't even know each other. It's, that's, a, that's a new group of people that we're being introduced to. I, I don't teach my sons to dislike anybody. You know me, you've been around me, anybody that's been right. around me, like I get along with everybody. I don't know what to say no more. What, what is, is, is it a day, is it a, is it a week? I don't right. know what to say. Right. So instead of canceling people, I think we need to have more dialogue. Let me know where you're coming from because you know I'm not coming from a, I'm a malicious did, place. Did that, that transgender hear you call a, trans, a, a transepticon or whatever it was, did they hear, did they no, hear you? No, no, didn't hear it. no, no. I made sure I didn't hear that. I don't fight a transgender in Miami. <laughs> I, I don't want to do that. Well, yeah, yeah, you might get your ass. There's, not, there's no win. Right, right. T.S. Madison, she comes on here a lot, and she's a transgender. But, okay, forget that. Forget that. So, um, speaking of craziness, you know, what, what would you say about, what's that event about you and Billy Sorrell? You know, you know the, the, the situation with him and but you. I, I so, thought, but I thought we, we already spoke about that, and that, that was something on the side, and we had more stuff to discuss. I don't. All right. I not, yeah. but I don't, but, but I just, um, what I'm saying is you're not holding your word because we, you I, know what I, I mean? I, 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 but I, I you, still, you feel what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Like, if we're going to do something, let's do what the protocol all right. was, was stated. Just, my, my, my thing was more about y'all to, did y'all, you know, make amends of it. That's so, all I'm right. you, But you, you see, like, you're still doing it. Nigga, you, you, right. you don't keep doing the shit. Let's I, 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 just I, let I, the shit go. You I know what I mean? If, you, if we had a conversation and we right. agreed on something, you can't, as the host, take it to another place. Now you being disrespectful, and now you're going to make me I, I, bro, I don't, cool. I don't cool. even want that. Okay. The shit been going okay. good. But now, like, okay. you know okay. what I mean? You, okay. No, you, okay. breathing, you brought it there, though. Right? Am I right? Right. right. Did right. he bring it there? No, you're right. You're right. Right. I, I, I will forget about you. Know, but it he, is my show, though. It is I, my show. Hey, Yo, man, yeah, right. but if, if you're going to be disrespectful to me, it's fuck your show to me. Man, all right, well, fuck, okay. Well, you know what I mean? All right, all right, all right, bro. We, we cut all that out, man. All that is, all is unnecessary, man. It's all unnecessary. Fuck it. It is what it is. We'll move on from the motherfucker. What do you joke. mean it is what it is? What, it is what it is, nigga. Shit, it is what it is. All right, we'll do something else. we talk about something else. Nigga, what, we, we, what are we doing, though? Huh, what you saying? Okay. Huh? You didn't change the whole dynamics of this. So, either I can leave this motherfucker and just, oh, you know what I mean? However you, you want to do it. You or, we can, or we can get it in however you want to get it. How about we really? Cause I'm, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely with it. And scene. Thank How we got to? Did we get a good show? I like that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I need a good actor. That's what it is. That's what it is. Thank you very much. You like with that? With yeah, thespians. Thank you. Thank you. I like right that. I like. It. Look at the whole set. Video? Yeah. My wife uh, on the other end with the, with the got that. <laughs> she about to come out like, hey, everybody, everybody come out some hole. Everybody hey. some hole up. <laughs> oh fuck you. You like that other guy? Okay, you like your mama. Right. Don't act like you did. All right, fuck it. All right, All right. All right. Well, hey, fix the mic. Fix the mic. They still nervous. They're Can like, oh, I get shit. another uh, beverage? Yeah, you sure? Come on, come on. Hey, guys, we, we planned this way beforehand, guys. We, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we Is my wife okay over there? Because she looking like... Put, put the gun up. Water. Can I get some water, Put please? the gun up. We got, got Look at everybody all shook up and shit. Not just the people out here. The people at home, too. People at home. You thought it was real. All right. 
Speaking no, of man, ask, man, ask me what I mean. All right, fuck it. Yeah, we come on now. No, man, that was a that was a situation. It was an unfortunate situation that happened between me and him. Uh, For those who don't know, it was a guy named Billy Sorrell. It was a comedian out of Dallas, right? He's out of Dallas? Yeah, we had a, no, Houston. We had a podcast Houston, together. Right. Oh, really fun. Yeah, good podcast. Yeah, man. we had a, we had a dope podcast. And uh, let me tell you something. Uh, you know, like I said, people know the story. Uh, if you don't, you can go back and kind of check okay. it out. Mm -hmm. uh, not to rehash anything, but it was one of those things where, for me, it was a big learning tool for me. Okay. Because to have somebody slander your name publicly. Yeah. And he did. Bless you. A did, lie, yeah. like a blatant lie. Yeah. It was such a learning point because it's so much powerful. It, it's 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 more tougher to resist than to react. Come on now, you know what I mean. Come on now. A lot of brothers are locked up. A lot of right. brothers are made bad decisions, snap decisions, right. been reacting. And it was two things that happened that I learned from that. It was God putting me in the position because at that time, I know had I been mobile, I, I definitely would have done something. I totally left. Mm -hmm. And would have took me down a different path, because I've, I don't I don't deal with that like I don't handle it like that. But God did two things for me: my Achilles popped, my Achilles is torn, mm. so now I can't move. Oh, sure, sure. Kept and now I'm I've got to take public ridicule. And some people believed it. Mm -hmm. Most people were like, uh. Mm -hmm. But for the people that were believing, I couldn't say nothing. I'm just mm -hmm. sitting back. Mm -hmm. And it was God saying, if you're gonna have to address everybody. Did I throw something at you at? You're not ready to elevate to the next level. Ooh. Again, to just resist rather than react. Okay, let me, I'm okay. glad you said that. Let me, so I'm not going to go into it, but, I'm, you know, it was a, a, a homosexual talk. He act like so, something homosexually happened right. between y'all two. And he doubled down on it. He right. didn't make a giggle. He actually spoke it. I mean, big time spoke it. In fact, I called him. To see, like, what the fuck's, you know, whatever. And he, he doubled down in the conversation with me. And I was like, uh, God right. damn. And with the fact, and, and, and first, no man, especially a black man, wants to be considered homosexual. If he's not homosexual. If he's not. If right. he's not homosexual. So, but then they hear you silent and quiet about you. Right. No one, people, one thing is, he might be telling the truth, because, you know, when you don't say it, when you're not speaking for yourself. But then if you would have spoke for yourself, is he trying to, you know, he's cover trying up to something? It. Trying to right. defend some shit. What made you... What made you choose that? Was it the Achilles heel to be silent? Or it was, what made you say, I'm it, not going to speak? It was both. I was incapacitated. I literally just had surgery. I just tore my Achilles, a bad tear. And on top of not mm. being able to move around, mm, mm, mm. it was simply God just saying, I got to sit you still. Wow. And I got to let you get ridiculed to see how you're going to take this. But you could have went online and acted a fool like he did. I could have. But then you're going to see the true character. The one that's silent is always the one that's usually the jewel. Mm. Mm. The okay. one that's silent yeah. is usually the one that's the jewel. So if I would have got up and went back and forth with him, I made a statement. I made one statement online about it. I was done with it. I don't have to keep going back. I know who I am. I know exactly who I am. The people that's close to me know who I am. And when I look back on it, and people are like, why are you not saying nothing? Sure. I don't, I don't have to. Dis if you have to defend your sexuality. Mm -hmm. If you have to say, I'm not this, then who are you? If you have to, you know, every time, somebody, mm -hmm. every time somebody questions you, you have to react to it. That remind me, you know, Corey Holcomb. I, I like Corey, you know, I do. It's Corey Holcomb. He's, but, you know, he, he, made, he, made a little, he makes a little jokes about it. Peter, Dick and the Booty, nigga, whatever, whatever. Right. I don't even go and go at him hard, like, you know, like right. that. Because it's like, I got too many shit situations that let you know I'm not. Right. <laughs> that type of person. And, so and you're that, right. So me hollering and screaming at him would be ridiculous. It, it doesn't, it because it. all you do is ignite the fire. Right. And the fire's not on your side. Sure, sure, sure. You know what I mean? Sure. And, and as time prevailed, people realized what was real and what, what wasn't. Right, right. But for me, the learning curve was sometimes God has to silence you and do all your talking for you. Wow. And I didn't have to do nothing. And literally, like, after I weathered that storm, things started just happening for me. Just It just started happening. And it was, again, if you're going to have to respond to everything that somebody says, mm -hmm. dog, you're going to be responding your whole career. Well, you know, and, and I like Billy. I, I mean, I like Billy as a comic, you know, I mean, as a person, too. Um, but then I, I, maybe I'm, I didn't hear his vocal word. Vocal. Did he come out and say, I was just lying? I think yeah. he said he's lying. Okay, I thought I heard that. He was lying. I, 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 I just, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of energy he put in yeah. for a lie. Yeah. For a lie, you know what I'm saying? And I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like, come on, Billy. You know, come on, dude. For right. a lie, 
Right. That's too it much was energy to put in for a lie. And he painted that picture constantly. Right. Like he was telling the truth. It's almost like what's that, what that thing called sheep when you yell sheep, whatever, fuck, whatever. Uh, uh, the dog to cry wolf. Yeah, cry wolf. Right. You know, and what's next when you say, bro? Are, are people gonna believe you next? That's not a good look. That's what I'm saying. Like, but, and, and the thing with like with me, like nobody had ever heard anything outlandish about me. I've right. always been the same. Nobody's even associated me with anything like right. that. Sure. So when they heard it for people, it was like what? But if you kept watching, the picture got clearer. Mm, that didn't, okay. If you just kept watching, the picture got clear. Mm -hmm. I got more silent. I fell back in my solitude. Yeah, I was. Said, hey, yeah, listen, yeah. This is what it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. I can't do nothing. I wish I could, but you know what? I'm glad I'm not doing anything. Because again, I got an uncle that's serving life right now. He's never getting out. Mm. A knee jerk reaction. As black men, we got to be more disciplined about our, the way we react to things. Sure. Sure. Even when it's a public, like I have this shit, it's online of people talking reckless. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying anything. I'm just sitting back. But then when the when the storm blew over, and the and the sun came back out again, there were people like, damn, hey man, I apologize. Wow. Even blogs like, hey sure. man, I, I'm sorry. I, you know, I jumped on this story because it was yada yada yada. Man, I was wrong, man. Are, are you him friends? No. Could you ever be friends? No, you can't come back from that. Not with me. <laughs> because like it, and it's not even a, it's not even a say mean, forgive it's not even a mean thing to me it's like I, it's like you over there and i'm over here and that that doesn't mean that there's a rivalry that doesn't mean i have any i don't have anything ill in nobody in my heart for anybody because y'all were good friends really yeah. good friends yeah right but but when somebody shows you exactly their capabilities it's up to you to take a chance has they reached out to you oh uh, yeah you reach out yeah and you and, and you and you can't no is it because it doesn't serve me any justice to be over there for what I'm clean I've not I've not told any lies about anybody anything I say is the truth I don't lie on anybody I don't slander anybody so I'm not getting involved with nothing else dirty I'm too clean right. I'm too clean to do that right right Michael Jackson ain't never go back to the five to to, to the Jackson five damn that's what we're gonna do with it I mean, analogy, yeah. put the analogy with Jackson Five. That I shit mean, right there. God damn. Okay. That was a cold one. <laughs> that was. I was. But I, he didn't I, go back, did he? No, no. You. He okay, did. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Let's get. Let's get past. I could say Bobby Brown. Uh, uh, but Bobby went back. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't shit, man. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get Bobby on this show talking about your ass. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I'm glad you weathered it, man. And and and, and I like to say I like Billy and I like you, man. It, 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 yeah. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Um. Speaking of somebody as big as Michael Jackson, have you ever fanboyed over somebody, man? Have you ever seen somebody and been like, holy shit, you know? But J I lost it on JJ. Hey, I, I lost it on JJ. I, I lost it. Queen, I lost it on JJ. Okay. <laughs> I lost myself on JJ. Uh, when busting his dynamite. Right. Um, <laughs> um, Halle Berry. You met Halle Berry? I didn't meet her. Oh, you saw. Okay. I kissed her. It's him. almost, I saw you, you okay. dirty dog. You damn right. You kissed that woman. Mm -hmm. well, I my lips are right now. I ain't, I ain't I my lips right now. Okay, I just got to ask you. Huh? My wife on the other side. Right, right. She got to understand. Okay. How, how does her how does lips taste? Mm. Mm. I picture Fruit Loops. Mm. <laughs> fruit Loops. Let me go back. Say, go back, go back. Juicy fruit. Juicy fruit. You know, when you first put in your mouth. Yes, it is just. All that sweet. How many takes did you have with it? Mm. How many mm. kiss takes did you have with it? Mm. A player don't ever tell. Oh. <laughs> sound like three. Ooh. Sound like three takes. Like three. So, Halle Berry. <laughs> I'm riding down Sunset Boulevard. I'm living in Las Vegas. Okay. And I would just kind of dip out to LA every now sure. and then to kind of see what mm. the haps was. Mm. So I'm driving out and I got a Mazda Protege tan, 1999. What year was this? 2000. Okay, okay. Whoa, One. okay. Oh, 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 maybe two. Oh, 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 o
It was a convertible. Hell no. She yeah. had the, the, the red with the black top. Okay. So I turned. Hold on, for the convertible. Oh, oh, oh it, was, it was up, though. It was up. Oh, it wasn't up. Okay. She's, I turned, and I'm looking at Halle, me from yeah. Alexandria. Come on, Louisiana. man. Come on. I'm looking at Halle Berry. I'm looking at her. She's looking at me. And she did this. Don't lie to me now. On everything I love. Okay, what did she I do? I still see her in that What did she do? I'm glad you asked. I didn't even think you would ask me. Okay. <sighs> she looked at me. Mm, okay. And waved. Oh. She said, hi, Tommy Davidson. She, maybe she thought I was Tommy Davidson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have thought I was It could have been. Now I'm bad. mad, because now she could have, okay. <laughs> Tommy. So the light turns green. <laughs> she dries off. I don't even get a chance to wave back, because I'm stuck. Right, right. It's Hallie. Oh. I'm looking, and she drives off, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I cut across the lane to just pull over hey, to, hey, to call my fuck? sister. You I had to call somebody. Okay. I called my sister. I said, oh, my gosh, we made it. She said, oh, my gosh, you got a deal? I said, no. I, I saw Halle. Right. Right. So Halle Berry, she waved. I didn't even wave back. I just said, what? Right. I said, yeah, I got to go. Uh, and I hung up the phone, and I'm just sitting there. I was like, oh, my gosh. Now, how do I get in touch with her? Because she clearly knows me. Right. Of course, she waved. She waved. Why would you wave at me? Tommy Davidson. You <laughs> didn't even factor that in. Yeah. But I, I fanned out. I, okay. I fanned out. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. That, that's, that's a lot of Okay, one more. Uh, oh, okay. You, got two. Oh, you, you, fanned, you fanned twice? Shit. Come on, man. This one is, is a, a country boy. boy. You're a country boy. This one is a boy. You're a country. You're country. That's why you're Chris you Brown. You got to understand. This is Christopher. Uh, okay, all right. This all is right. Christopher. Right. Okay. What now, happened? it's BT Weekend. Of course, in LA. In LA. Woo, I performed that weekend mm -hmm. and it was concerts and all, all kinds over of the stuff. place. The next night, mm -hmm. there's the R&B concert. Now, Christopher is locked up. What do you call him? Christopher. Hell no. I met him. The motherfucker. I mean, I met him. It's Mr. I, Brown, nigga. No, he's Christopher. Okay. All right, we'll it's Christopher. So, Christopher is incarcerated and the show is. Trey songs, mm -hmm. uh, Lil Wayne, okay. uh, uh, Ty Dollar Sign. Mm -hmm. It's dope. So Bill calls me. He was like, "Hey man, are you performing tonight?" I said, "No." Hey man, come hang out. Big concert. I'm hosting it. We gonna hang out and kick it afterwards. I'm like, "All right, bet." Hell yeah. So I get there, and when I get there, Trey Songz is on stage. It's going down. We're on the side of the stage, right at the front. We're on the okay. side of the stage. Okay. Now Bill tells me, he said, "Hey man, it's about to get wild." Hmm? Chris about to come through here. And I'm like, okay. I don't know which Chris. I know he ain't talking about, uh, um, um, if I'm dreaming. Oh, hell no. Uh, no, he ain't talking about him. No, 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 no. It's got to be <laughs> Chris. the other Chris. Right, right. That's Chris so we, way we literally, we're standing by the side of the road, right? right? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, who's singing these hoes ain't loyal? Who's this? Uh, Lil, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is on stage. Mm -hmm. Lil Wayne is on stage. And all of a sudden, Chris Brown comes out of the back. Okay. And when he came out of the back, it like we're at the Staples Center. Why it's big? We're at the Staples Center. It's well, fifteen thousand yeah, people, people. Right. right? It's packed. Like, we're okay. by the stage. Okay. When he walked out, the whole side of the stage, like everybody was on the side, migrated. No. All the, shifted. Like shifted. Wee. The whole, I watched everybody that was in that area shift for this man. He comes out. He's killing it. I'm like I'm in awe. Bill's in R2. I don't give a damn what he say. He, I'm going to call Bill. I'm you ain't R2, I'm ask. Bill. Bill said, yo, I ain't seen nothing like this since Mike. This is crazy. I'm like, yeah, this is crazy. So, right, he finishes his performance. He walks off the stage. As he walks down the stage, Bill was like, hey, listen, let's go to his dress room. I'm going to introduce you. I was like, nigga. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no 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 Ooh. no no no! Gather yourself. Yeah. All right, get it together. Get it together. Come on, I man. Already, I don't even know why you sat right there. I know. I know. Call Billy Sorrell for me real quick. Ah 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 All right, all right, all right, all right, right, right. Oh, go ahead. Let me just finish. <laughs> let me <just> finish. <laughs> when he walks off stage, <laughs> it's him and about fifteen of the most beautiful women you've oh, yeah. ever seen. In your life, so Bill was like, "Let's go, you know." Bill, like, yeah. hey, Bill, let's go, little mm -hmm. bro. MTV jams, <laughs> right, right. That's Bill. How to be a right, player, right? right. I, I, I feel you. So we get there, and the security, you know, like, I always look at people's knuckles. Damn, okay. It says a lot about you if you're doing security. I look at your knuckles. If you've been putting in work, I need to see what you've been doing. Right, too much and lotion. It, and if I shake your head and and, and you Soft. feel like you watch you watch too many dishes. Ooh. 
to be security. Right. You can't have my back. Nah, bro. I feel you. So I'm looking at his security, and it's, it's not no big guy. I'm not a six foot white guy, but he's kind of yak. Yeah, sure. And sure. I looked at them knuckles, and they Ooh. they were protruding. I was like, oh, okay. He he about that. He put life. that work in. He's serious. Okay, okay, cool. Bill shakes his hand. He introduced me, and I want to shake his hand too. I went in with, with the strong. I went in with there the you strong. Go. There you go. There you go. Come on, no. Ain't no man. punk in you. You from uh, Alexander, uh, Louisiana. Louisiana. Bam. Hey, nice to meet you, brother. Bam. We get in there. Walk in. It's beautiful women everywhere. Why wouldn't And they're just looking in direction. Like, they're looking. It's Trey Songs, Ty Dolla Sign, uh, Tank, mm -hmm. and Christopher. Christopher's over there. Uh, Christopher. Yeah, that's him. Bill walks me over. He was like, hey, this is my man, D-Lay. He was like, hey, what's up, man? I've seen you before. Like, yeah, yeah, man, you reposted some of my stuff. Oh, man, I thought you knew me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bill, you ain't the only mother celebrity in this mother. He know me, too. Right, right. Respect me. Right, right. Right? Christopher knows you. It's Christopher. So... We shake hands, and uh, it's something about when a, a bigger star greets you. Right, okay. He leave that residue on you. What? Yeah, that star residue. Right, okay, you feel, you feel like, like you next. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. And uh, i never seen star power like this before, right? So he turned, like he, Christopher didn't say anything to anybody. He turned, he, was, he just threw up the deuce to me and Bill. Woo! And he walked out, and every woman in that dressing room left with him. Yeah. Which let me know something. What did it let you know? He didn't leave the residue on me. That wasn't oh, the residue. Oh, right, right. That but you left with Bill. I left with Billy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I left with Billy. Yeah, 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 Billy yeah, Bellamy. Yeah, yeah. Well, damn. <laughs> Billy, now he's Billy Bellamy? God mm -hmm. damn, homie. Yeah, we call Bill Billy, too. Oh, okay. All y'all yeah. Billy. Let's talk about that book you have, The Journey Behind the Smile. I like that. You wrote it during the pandemic. That's right. And, it, and I can feel it because I'm a comedian. I get, I, right. I get that. Give me, ca Capsulate that for me. That First book. of all, it's a masterpiece. Is that what you said? Let's be clear. It's it, masterpiece. It's book? a masterpiece. Oh, masterpiece! I yeah. need a masterpiece. Include book. my C's. Okay. You left out my T's oh, okay. earlier. My, my, now yeah. you see. Okay, my yeah. bad. Yeah. All right. It's a masterpiece, man. Okay. Um, it's not your traditional. When you look at it, it's not your traditional book. It's, it's, it's a thick book. It's a nice size book because it's my life. And, and crayon. That's why. I said Yeah, you thought it was one of the things with, yeah. with pictures in it. No, that's why. Yeah, 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 coloring yeah, part right, like right. And, and page fifty-six right, right. is a little mad. Pop out and shit. Right. Right. Hello. No, but I can tell you something about my my book that isn't like most books. Uh, it's the first, his first book with audio in it. Oh, okay. yes. And for those that don't like to read, I do have an audio book. Nice. Yeah, I got the <laughs> audio book too. And all that you can pick it up at itsdelay.com. But my book, man, it's a it's a uh, it's a roller coaster of emotions okay. when I when I when I think about it, because it, it's 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 gonna make you laugh. Mm -hmm. I'm taking you on my journey to you know how I came up. It's gonna make you cry. It's gonna make you angry. But it's just the journey that I was on nice. that led me to be the person that I am now. That's right, why I can right. smile after coming through all that stuff right, that I right, came right. through. So make sure y'all cop that. Okay, let me, let me wrap this up with a couple of things. you got a couple projects. That's right. First of all, you in a movie with Jay Farrell and Cat Williams? What are we doing there? First that? of all, I say Two that lightly. Thing? I say that lightly. Oh. I, I'm glad you threw it out there very strong. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I say that Cat lightly. Williams and Jay, and, Farrell. And Jay Farrell in a movie yeah. Two minutes that, of fame. That, that you're part of. That's a part of. In less than two minutes. Let me tell you how I got it. Okay. Now, my agent at the time gave me a call. Okay. And he said, hey, listen, uh, these producers want you on the show. Mm. And I was like, okay, all right, cool. Uh, she said, so congratulations. You know what I mean? You're about to do your first movie. All right, all right. Leslie Smalls, yeah. who directed my 30-minute comedy special mm -hmm. produced by Kevin Hart, mm -hmm. he was one of the producers on it. So okay. it's like, we like D-Lay. Let's bring him in. He'll be dope for this. Perfect. You know what I mean? It's a movie about comedians. We can bring him in here. So it's like, the, the audition is like, well, the, we're shooting in two days. I don't even have to audition. Damn. Right? I don't even have to do it. I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm straight in there. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm straight like that. Okay. I'm straight like that, Queen. Mm -hmm. I go in. So now it's like I've got two days before the show, before the uh, the shoot. Sure. The day before the shoot, I'm I'm hitting my my agent like, hey, you know, I ain't, I ain't got no sides. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, what my sides? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if I'm in a movie, you got, yeah, I got to yeah. say something, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. They had a show. I hit up. Hey, listen, what is the deal? Right. Hey, he likes you. They'll have everything for you when you get there. Red flag number one. I don't have any sides. You're pedestrian number two. That's why. I, I, I don't even know if I have a name. Damn. I don't know. Okay. So I get in and uh, they say, okay, d -Lay, here's the deal. You are a club owner. Nice. I like okay? that. And you, you, you're, you're running a club and the show is kind of running late. Okay. So go ahead and just kind of bring up Jay Farrow. Nice. And you know, you, you tell him, hey, wrap it up. You know, it's, it's quick. And then you get out of here. Okay. You introduce him and you get out of here. Okay. And I'm like, 
That's not enough lines. Uh, who, who I need more. Who are you again? I'm delayed, uh -huh. but I need more. Mm. You know what? There's no small role in a movie. Only small actors. Only small actors. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, all right, we got it lined up. Everybody's ready to go. And cameras, three, two, it's only you delay. Action. So I walked over, simple lines. Hey, man, it's getting late. Wrap it up. That's all I was supposed to say. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, man, it's getting late. Right. Wrap, Wrap it, it up. up. And action. Come on, man. Oh, what are you doing? We've been in this motherfucker 30 minutes. 30 minutes. How long are you going to do? Cut! Nigga, don't make the line. Well, listen, well, listen, listen. <laughs> okay, my bad. Listen, man. I need you to go up here and do what you got to do. Right. It's getting late. Right. Wrap it up. Right. Cut! Right, right. Hey, D, uh, right. come here for a second. Right, right, right. I know how to go. Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, if you could kind of just stick to the lines. Right, bring it down a little bit. Just if you could just stick to the lines. We like, we like the energy. Right, right, right. But if you could kind of stick to the lines. Makes I mean, you, the improv in is cool, but just kind of like, like land it and just get out of there. Okay, you want me to go a different direction. Right, right. Oh, okay, I see what you're doing. Right, right. Right, different cool. direction, really. Call on delay three. Two, action. Hey, man. What the fuck you doing? That's it. Yeah, they'll do that. It's 11.30. It's getting late, nigga. It's getting late. Wrap it it's up. It's about to be tomorrow. <laughs> Wrap it up. Cut! Okay, D, how about this? Hey, man, just go up and do a set, and then we just, we'll take it from there. So they made me do a set. So if you look at this thing, mm -hmm. you see, I did a set after the set. <laughs> There was a rap. I didn't know how much of the, the, the movie they were going to leave in with me. And of course, it was two minutes of frame and they left me in for no. three seconds. Damn. Yes. And what did we learn here, class? There's no small role. Right. <laughs> Only small actors. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Now, but I had fun. As I had today. That's right. With you. Let me ask you a question. And be honest with me, okay? Okay. No Hollywood answer. Real answer. Do you feel like you're an underrated comic? Yes. Yes, I do. I do. I do, too. I do. Uh, and, and here's the deal. It's because it's, it's, it's a lot of comedians that are that I, like really fire. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, like, we don't all get those bigger breaks. But I always look at it like this. I, don't, I just focus on what I'm doing right now. The bigger break is going to do what it's going to do. If I'm leaning on when I'm going to get the bigger break instead of focusing on today, I got to do, do five videos today. Tomorrow I gotta do six videos. I just work on what I can work on. All the other when they're gonna put me, I don't even I don't subscribe to that. I don't I don't care what you put me in. If I get put in something great, but I can write my own thing. You know what I mean? I'm about creating my own avenues. If when people see that you can do something, for whatever reason, the universe just makes it hover around you to be able to present but, whatever that But that doesn't sound like something, that, uh, that's not like a veteran comic. Because let me tell you, I felt that same way until I got to a point where I said, you know what, I ain't chasing. I'm, right. like, I'm gonna create my own. I've always created my, I've made my own movies, whatever. But mm -hmm. I always felt like, what? Uh, 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 uh. This platform here, I didn't know, I stumbled upon this. Right. I ain't a journalist. I ain't the best eloquent speaker. But something about this connected with the people. They said, man, I like you, P. I like how you talk to other people. I'm like, wow. And the point I'm making is now my stuff is moving. Quickly. I'm gonna tell you what I think it is. Um, you may not think so, but you are actually really good at this. <laughs> I've watched several interviews. The last one I watched with Teddy Carpenter, mm -hmm. how you hold the guest's feet to the fire oh. because the audience wants to know this. Sure. These people have been looking up stuff. They're like, okay, is he going to ask this? Mm -hmm. And and when he tries to scurry out of it, uh, you you put him back in that box. Man, mm -hmm. Hey, listen, we, we got to get this answered. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think that's a that's a testament to, to what I'll you can do. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know that. what I mean? I, I think that. I, that is underrated. Mm. Like that's that's I'm looking at it like wow this is really good because mm -hmm. I'm like did he take up communications in college did he do? <laughs> because it's a, your interviewing style is really dope you structure it and you calm and you pose and you have control of the show the whole time mm -hmm. you know when when things kind of got up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you and Teddy you brought it back down mm -hmm. you made sure you kept it level mm -hmm. and it's just a level of professionalism when hosting a show that you got to have and you definitely have it uh, well I appreciate that and I think that comes from it's funny because people asked me to do a podcast for years like five years they asked me before I started doing this one I was like mm -hmm. no no man no. because they know me and they know when they talk to me in, in person I'm so real I'm so authentic to, to them I'm, I'm caring I care right. about these I care about comedians believe it or not you know some assholes out here but as a form we have a brotherhood right that's why I spoke out in support in help of Aerie Spears recently when he, you know, when he kind of went nutcase when, right. they, when they was getting on him really hard. Because at the end of the day, 
I don't want to see him commit suicide. Right. So you niggas can be like, yeah, hey, fuck him. He's right. a human being. Regardless if he did a skit you didn't like or he's talk shit, okay. If you don't like it, let him go. But as humans, man, I still care. And I think it, I hope that comes across on the show because yeah. I care about you. Now I'm going to ask you some questions. Right. I, I fear no man. I'm going to ask you whatever the hell you bring you on. What up? This right. is what we're going to talk about. Whoopity whoop. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not here to try to slander you or do some bullshit. I want to know the, the real situation. Right. And I've been around enough that I think people respect me enough, these comedians. Because see, I know where the bodies are buried. Right. Okay, I know what really happened. I'm gonna let you speak your your situation, but if I know the truth, I'm like, Err! do you ever have if a situation? Where, I'm sorry. I, I, no, I, go ahead, bro. You ever have a situation where you Keep have a guest love, and you and when when you 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 are asking questions and you feel like, okay, wow, finally the audience gets a chance to hear this, mm-hmm. and then you realize, wait, maybe this, you know, after you and it, the audience is like, you know, the comments will tell you everything. Mm-hmm, sure. Hey, man, I don't believe him. Mm-hmm. Have you ever thought about doing like a follow up show with comedians? Like, hey, listen, man, uh, listen, we did good the last time, but. X, Y, Z is what you were hearing. Well, so, well, what done, is the truth to this? That's what, well, I've done a couple of follow-up shows. You know what I'm saying? I've had a couple people in the country. Wayne's done it twice. Who, uh, um, Clifton Powell, um, T.S. Madison. Uh, who George else? Wallace. George Wallace. Oh, so, man. Uh, yeah, George Wallace was crazy, man. So I have done that, but I'm not here to keep... If you say it's your truth, right. I'm not here to needle you to get to the point where you say, all right, I was lying, mother. I was lying, because that's not what I want from you. Right. I'm going to tell you what I think I've heard or what I know. I'm going to position the com- conversation in a certain way. You're going to have to maneuver around that shit. If it's bullshit, right. you're telling me. At the end of the day, if it's your truth, the audience can feel a certain They way. know. They'll be like, they know. I ain't feeling him. He a liar or she's a liar. You right. know what I'm saying? And that's all, A, hey, that's on y'all. It's on you. You know, yeah. what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I, it's best to me come up here and show. Just, some, put, just be transparent. And, and be honest, because people, us black folks, we are down for the apology. You know what I'm saying? We Let's are the all. most we'll forgiving people, people ever in the history of humans. Right. We will forgive you. Right, right. Just say, my bad. Right. Well, my bad. But you, you know, gotta say it. And, and mean it too, though. And mean it, right. And mean it, right. And you say that, we'll be like, you know what? All right, nigga, that was something right, we'll we'll we did. We'll all right, we, we cool. But if you stand on it and you still bullshitting, if it is bullshit, man, we like, man, fuck it. We never gonna fuck with you. You know right. what I'm saying? So from that point, you know, I'm like, uh. All right, I had a great time with you, but we do a couple of things on this show. Okay. Okay. So what I like to do. Is dabble on social media too. Now. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, you ain't the only one, okay? Right. And well, I have my crew. You know, we do a thing called IG creeping. Oh, you're creeping on IG. Yes, okay. sir. We go on your IG page, Ooh. and we see what you've been up to, lady. Mm. You know, we go through the history of what you've been up to, what you've posted, what you think is you know worthy, post worthy. Right, right. So we got a couple of things, and I want you to comment when I say, "What the hell was you thinking when you was wearing that?" Nigga? Okay, who were you? What, 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 what oh. was you doing, brother? Well, I'm glad you asked. I told you you asked some amazing questions. Well, well, first like, of all, uh, they paid me to wear that. Okay. Uh, first of all, I was paid. I was paid to wear that. When you see me in these uh, these exotic suits like that, just know that the fabrics on my back Ooh. are fly. And uh, not only are they fly, I am being very well compensated to wear those. You suits. look like James out on Bond. I like that. Okay. Like that. Okay. You like, you like, okay. <laughs> That's what we're going with right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What was you thinking? All right. And we have more. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. We got another fashion. Oh, thing. now listen. Okay. First of all, this is top tier shit right here. That, that, that right here. That's on the Bill Bellamy tour. This you wore that outfit. No, no, no. Show, this, is, this is when I left the tour. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah, we had money. We made some yes, money. Yes, made some money. Okay, so I left the bad. tour. So I always wanted a leather shirt, a real leather shirt. Uh, and I wanted some distressed jeans. Okay, you and did. Uh, again, right. uh, some people paid me to wear these okay, okay. right here. Yeah. Let me ask you a question, because I always want to know, yeah. what came first, the shirt or the boots? What did you say? When you get the boots, I got to get a shirt. When you get the shirt, I got to get some boots for these. Uh, I always go with the foot gear first. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Foot gear. Shout out to my partner, Mark Nolan. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's what that uh, oh, shoe okay. was provided by the boot, oh, and then okay. from the boot, you, know, you can you can make everything. Pop I like in that. There. That's a that's a dope out. That, that's some awesome Hollywood. Yeah, shit. yeah, I, and, I, and, I, and I just got my Achilles back too. I literally just took this picture after I got my Achilles back, oh, and the right Achilles is the one. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, cool. All right. So what were we thinking about? You know, we we, 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 we doing this. We okay. doing. The, is it the family time or what is this time? Well, I was oh, on welfare. Oh, oh that's yeah. okay. I was on welfare right there in Russia. Uh, no, I was on welfare. You can't go to Russia Mm-mm-mm. when you're on welfare. Uh, that right there is, as you can see, my son's got them on too, which uh, means nice they're awesome. I, I keep those. Man, y'all really are creeping. Yeah, keep yeah. those pictures as a testimony to realize, hey man, look where we came from. Those that's called the welfare pick. Were, yeah, the welfare. Pick. Well, I, you know what? When I saw the picture, 
I donated a dollar fifty man to wow. the number. I said, man, I got to wow. get fifty cent a piece. You know that's, what I'm saying? That's right, right, right. 50 I cent felt piece. it. Okay, I don't tear my eye. That's so kind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so do. kind. All right. <laughs> well, now, now, what, now, what we doing here, bro? Oh, that's vegan come delay. On, come on, that's man. vegan delay right there. That right there is vegan. If that's delay. vegan delay. What is this? I'm gl- oh, well, I just started back eating meat. I just started back eating uh, like uh, no pork. Okay. But like steak and beef. Okay. Uh, okay. But yeah, that was like that was just that's straight vegan right there. That's straight, straight vegan, vegan right yep. there. Yeah. Where, 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 where we at? I'm in Miami. In Miami. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Right, I've got one more picture. Now this is. Oh wow! Now, if that was vegan. Okay. That was Vincent. Uh, let me tell you what that guy is right there. Uh, potato chips. Uh, cookies. First of all, I borrowed that turtleneck. I can see that. Okay, I borrowed that turtleneck. <laughs> I can't even tell you who I borrowed the turtleneck from, but I know it was borrowed. Um, we got newscaster face right there. You actually, know, no I'm, mustache, no beard. You know what? Now that I recollect, yeah. actually, I'm coming out of welfare right here. You're coming out the welfare. Yes, I'm coming out of welfare. That's my welfare. Out of welfare, turn it Not well. You bought it from somebody, so you. Uh, but I never gave it back, so it's, it's technically back. Okay, okay. Well, that damn. Y'all never get it back. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, look, we didn't never that. Man, y'all really be creeping. Oh <laughs> yeah, we be creeping. Your squad really. <laughs> yeah, we, we be we be looking at shit. Okay. Now look, we got this thing we call uh, 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 the wheel. The, okay. I'm, I'm gonna call it the wheel of shame. Fuck, I'm gonna a new name for it. So okay. what it happens is, if it lands on something, we like for you to participate into it. Okay. Okay. okay? That means join in and do. It. All right. So what happened? We got. If it falls on this, it's a real secret. Think about gotcha. a real secret you might know. Something okay. like that. You know? um, here's one. Lost your virginity. Can you remember that? You know, Absolutely. The, uh, okay, okay, yeah. Go that's back. That's probably going to be the one I'm going to land on. I can feel is that what spirit. it is? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. About, about, about 11 or 12 years old. Yeah. Okay. Um, a celebrity crush call. This would be, as you're an actor, mm-hmm. you take your cell phone and you act like you're calling a celebrity you have a crush on. Oh, okay. you crush. But you have two minutes, about, about a minute and a half, to either get them to your house or you to get to their house to get them draw ha ha ha. Mm. So when you get on the phone, you say, hey, Hallie, what's up? And you talk about having whatever you want. Right. I, we need to see if you were an actor, what would your Mac and game be? Gotcha. Like? Okay. Gotcha. Right. okay. Something you want to get off your chest. Gotcha. Okay, think of something you want to get off your chest. The biggest lie you ever told. Woo! Now, you can repeat any of the stories you just told me. Right. The last hour. Right. Okay, if you'd like to. Okay, okay. okay. So we'll go with them too. Trading places and why. Who'd you trade places with? Think about who in, his, you know, in the world would you trade places with and why? You know, yes, yes, you know I wouldn't mind. For good or bad. Good or bad. Okay, okay. for good or bad. All right, uh, we, we had this book, right? But that's what they celebrity. So uh, get off your chair, spin the wheel again. again. Yes, okay. there we go. Okay. So what happens that. is, hold on, I'm gonna put it right here. We need, and we need a drum roll, everybody. We need a drum, a drum roll. roll, and we need a good Louisiana spin, boy. That Louisiana spin that thing like a little spin that thing. Don't be afraid. Woo! Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, lost virginity. Damn, you right too. Well, damn, it fell on lost your virginity. Okay. Okay. So hold, quiet, people. Quiet. Here we go. Wow. Think about it. Okay. So uh, give us the picture. Pi- give us the picture, boy. You can give us the picture. Gotcha. You got you got a minute and a half to two minutes to get minute to the story. Two minutes. All right, All right. Cool. Let me get the two. All right. So we're in Alexandria, Louisiana. Okay. It's about 530. It's starting to get dark. Okay. It's starting to get dark. Uh-huh. And this girl's been coming over my How house for the last week. I'm glad you asked. Again, you asked ask amazing questions. Oh. I am a raw okay. 12 years old. Woo-hee! Yeah, okay. I'm a raw okay. 12. Okay. So this girl's been coming over to my house, and she's just visiting for the summer. Okay. And she's 16. Oh. Which means to me she's thirty. Where? Oh, oh, oh damn. Okay. If I'm twelve. 12 you sixteen. 16 you makes thirty. Sense. Yeah, makes you sense. know what I mean. You, you got kids and stuff. So <laughs> she comes over, and she's talking to me, and she's like really flirty, right? And she leaves. When she leaves, my uncle comes over to me. My uncle said, "Nephew, that girl gonna give you something." Oh. And I was like, "Give me what?" <laughs> you know what she gonna give you? The girl gonna give you something. Keep on hanging around her. She gonna give you exactly what you need. Oh. I'm like, hey. <laughs> You had no idea? No idea. Okay. I'm hoping it ain't what he's talking about because I ain't ready for this. I, oh, right. nobody, I don't okay. have no birds and bees. Nobody okay. gave me that talk. Okay. So the following day, I'm showing up. It's me, my two uncles. I'm sitting in the middle of the truck, mm-hmm. right? Driver, him, I'm in the middle. We pull up. The girl is in my yard. Mm. My uncle's like, boy, I told you. She's going to give you exactly what you want. Mm. Go and get it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I hope he ain't right because I ain't ready. I don't know what to do with this. I get out the car. She says, let's go take a walk. I'm like, oh, gosh, the sun is coming down. We walk through this, like, this is like a trail. It's like, a, we're in the country. Keep this eye. It's almost dark. We get in the trail. And she says, I like you. I was like, I like you, too. Huh? Ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How your kids do it? Oh, yeah. She says, she said, I want to do something to you. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So we're walking through this trail. And it's like, we lay down, it's a trail, but it's a dirt trail. Mm-hmm. But it's trees all oh, around. Oh, sure. I know so, you right. know, you, it's, it's. Louisiana. Right. So I lay down. Like, I just lay down, like. On my back, mm-hmm. in the dirt. Mm. I'm like, oh my gosh, she about to have her way. Mm. Yeah, it's going down. So I'm on my back, and this is how I knew I didn't have no more control. She was like, you got to lift up, and I did this. 
Uh, what the hell? Yeah, she pulled the drawers off me that way. Like, uh, uh, you do that. She pulled the drawers off she you? She pulled the drawers off me. What the? I'm 12. Okay. What am I do? The under rules. I don't know what to do. She pulled it down. I got all, The drawers are so elementary. Right, right. They, they, they drawers. You, you don't even want to look at this. Them were your Adidas drawers. Smurfs. Three strikes. Smurfs drawers. <laughs> I got on Smurf drawers. I'm about to have sex with Smurf drawers on. Okay. Well, first of all, I don't know what's about to happen. I'm just right. on my back right. in the dirt. Right. Now my back is in the dirt and my drawers are down to the ankle. And I'm like, I don't know. Because I don't know anything about head. I don't know right, anything right. about this. So she takes down my pants and leaves. She clearly has done this before. Right. She leaves one leg out. Hell no. And one leg in. I was okay. like, okay. So just in case we got to run out, so have my clothes. Right, right. <sighs> this woman gets on top of me and starts having her fun. And Had I your thumb popped out? It, th- it popped out. Okay. It popped out. Okay. okay. So we raw dog. Woo-wee! I don't know nothing about this. Hey, hey, hey. Raw dog. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going. And I saw her face. This is the first time I realized, like as I got older, I was like, oh, this woman, she climaxed. This woman, she she got there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, is she okay? Because she's like, oh. Uh, Damn, 16. Uh, oh, wow. Right. Finish. I get up. I don't know why. I put my clothes on. I take off running. I'm running. I don't want to see you again, ma'am. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this is crazy. I'm running. Because I got to tell somebody. Oh, that's true, too. I can't just keep this on my spirit. I got to share this with somebody. I run back to my aunt's house, who's a beautician. She's doing hair. And she see me there, and I'm sweating. <sighs> Where were you coming from? I was outside playing. <sighs> What's all that dirt in your hair? Okay, dirt? <laughs> yeah, dirt in your hair. I was like, oh, I was, uh, I was, I was wrestling. Uh, wrestling? Oh, yeah. I said, yes. Rachel, get out of my shop. Get out of my shop. I run to the back and I call my best friend, Ronnie. I said, hey, what you doing? He's about to eat a sandwich. I said, I ain't a virgin no more. And I just hung up. Hell no. I won. That's... Now, when I look back on it, when I look back on it, she took it. Oh. She took that meat. What? She took the meat. That, that woman was, took the meat. That was Rita Kelly, R. Kelly's sister. <gasps> <laughs> Did you call Rita Kelly? Say, bitch, what are you doing? That's the reverse. That's brother. Rita Kelly. Rita Kelly. Did yeah. That. Call Rita Kelly up and look Hilarious. at it. Hilarious. Man, first of all, I want to thank you for coming out with me. Man, you know, thank you, brother. Thank no, you. Every show we do, we get what's called yes. a swag bag. Come on, swag well, bag. Everything in here is black owned. Oh, okay. On, it's from a black owned business, brother. Okay. Okay. So check it out, pull it out, look at it. If there's a card in it, read the card to see what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, this is that. nice, man. This yeah, is really that's nice. That's what we do. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, yeah. What a shirt. A shirt. Like, yes, yes, yes. You yeah. got me a Pierre's Panic Room yeah, shirt. Yeah. I thought I gave you one before. You that did. Is okay, but that's for, you you. That's for whoever next. Okay. No, no, that's good for me. Okay. That's good for me. Oh, oh well, damn. Okay. That's that's good good for me. Okay. Well, damn. Okay. Uh, okay. We got. Well, is this black on? Well, we got Linda's barbecue sauce. Oh, is this you got problem? me barbecue sauce? Because we like this, brother. You for Louis Easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who would have thought to get a guest a t shirt and a barbecue sauce? There you go. You can wipe your mouth with a shirt. I'll tell you something, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. This is the sauce. Yeah, yes, yes. Honey barbecue. Yes, yes. And yes. my wife barbecued it. We were actually. Hey, baby, we got more barbecue sauce now. Oh, okay, that's enough for two sandwiches. That's right. <laughs> okay, let's see. What is one there? We got a book. <laughs> Come on now. What is My 100 say? Homies and Phonies, Hollywood. Of Hollywood. That's it. That's it. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. this man. is dope. Yeah, it's Wait, more. That's more. Yeah, I, I, we keep, it keeps giving. That's, that's more. Yeah, that's more. Wait, let me that, see. That, 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 that's for the salt. Okay, my bad. That's for oh, the I salt. thought I said Lance Armstrong. Yeah, 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 I no, was like, y'all really got this from Lance Armstrong. Yeah, yeah. He ain't black owned, okay? <laughs> that okay. Are, that's cards, okay? That's Do you know the comedy culture? Okay. That's all about comedians and movies that are comedies or TV shows. You know, it's a game show. You can play with your friends. Y'all sit right, down, it's a game night. Po- right, instead of playing poker, you can pull out and say you got to guess the games. You can get that from Comedy Hop, uh, Comedy Hop, ComedyHype.com forward slash shop. You can order those uh, those uh, those uh, uh, cards right there. and You can play with your friends, man. Hours and hours of friends. Can I mean, you fun. gamble? Well, yeah, yeah. You can gamble with it. Hell yeah, you can. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm like, you don't know the answer. Yeah, you can gamble. That's yeah, that. right. I you know like this. You like that? Okay, man. Listen, so I, yeah, I, I man. Really appreciate so y'all, I appreciate. So I no, I appreciate, man. You know what, brother? I feel like I got you with the rest of the world, kid, yeah. brother. Yeah. So we can look back at here. You know what I'm saying? And say, man, I got him before he blew up. Yeah. So if we gotta look back 20 or 30 years from now, might take that long. I'm gonna make a prediction real quick. What? <laughs> um, <laughs> we look back at this and say, 2023. You know oh, that's right around the corner. June. Okay. Oh, oh. oh. I'm out of here. June. What day? What day? I need a day. June 19th. June 19th, 2023, he will be a mega star. That's the weekend of Juneteenth. Well. I'm there, free. There it is right I there. I didn't know I was free. There though. it is, man. 
But in, now I know that I'm free. Brother Dele, I appreciate you coming. You, you, Thank you, bro. You, you, you live. Give him a round of applause. Now. Give my man Dele a round of applause. Right there is your camera. Tell your social media handle what they want. We can get you and catch you at brother. Yes, no. people. First of all, uh, thank you guys for having me, man. True. You got an amazing staff. Uh, amazing. You can pick up everything from me from my tour dates to the audio book. Okay. Listen to me. The people mm -hmm. have been buying the audio book more than been buying the book. The audio book. You can find everything at itsdelay.com. All of my handles are the same. Uh, itsdelay.com for my dates, merchandise, uh, the book. I got another book on the way. Um, the journey behind the smile, aka the journey continues. That's the nice. second book. Nice. I'm actually finished with it. I just gotta, you know, get everything transcribed. Okay. But uh, it's delay.com, man. I'm a, you see me posting every day for TikTok, for Instagram, for Facebook. Four a day on Instagram, three a day on Facebook. Yeah, I post right a lot. There. So now I appreciate y'all again, man. Uh, thank y'all for sitting there watching my man delay. Was it not funny? Was it not entertaining, y'all? I'm telling you, it's a star in the making. If you like this show, you like all my shows, man. Hit the notification bell or the subscribe button. All right, hit that, man. Again, I thank y'all. When y'all see me in the street, man, holla at your boy and say, man, I like Pierre's Panic Room, man. I number love, man. I appreciate it, man. I don't even gonna talk about anything negative. It's all positive. Even the comments I read. Now, one thing I don't understand why some of would be watching my show all the time and then when they see something they don't like they comment then like all the times you've liked it you didn't say nothing about it that's fugazi that's whack as hell and yeah. i'm gonna delete your ass i'm saying your sound wasn't right why are you asking this well all the other shows you didn't like what the hell yeah i did but i didn't want to comment that time just for right. shit i didn't like so i don't know, that's whack but stay in them comments man we appreciate it man thank you so much love y'all man and we will see you later support this man on tour all right yep. we out yet What's up, good people? It's the one and only D-Lay, and I survive Pierre's panic room. Turn me up a little bit. Turn me up a little bit. If you like that show, like, subscribe, and comment below, you know, hit the, hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button, man. We want you around. Appreciate it.